Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Happy time zone, everybody. I'm really happy to have you all here today for those that are new to my streams or are just tuning in. Hi, I'm Road or Dusk. You can call me either or or anything that you would call a friend. Gummy Medusa, hope you're having a good stream. Let's see, I'm good. I'm good lurk. Yay! Thank you for the lurk, hon. I more than appreciate it. But yeah, for those that are new to my uh, streams, you can, I am Road to Dusk. You can call me Road or Dusk. Anything that you would call a friend. I am a uh, variety streamer, and I am also prepping for a very special occasion on Friday. Uh, there's going to be a donathon uh, going on because my situation is. Uh, what is going on? Oh, that's because you are not in the right spot. There we go. There we go. I was not where I was supposed to be, but here I am. <laughs> uh, all right, so. Sorry, my mind is going all over the place, but I am a variety uh, streamer that has a few surprises coming up on uh, Friday. For those that want to tune in uh, on my stream for Friday, which will be at noon Eastern time, so Eastern US, until midnight. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on and a very special reveal uh, in congruence to... Um, me having a bit of a financial situation right now and yeah just having a donathon in uh, also in conjunction with um a uh with an affiliate celebration stream uh you know what considering uh we still have quite a bit of time until the stream proper um you know what, I'll show the the goal and get the info for the donations a little bit early, just in case people want to start doing that. Please know that there will be milestones. If you do not know the milestones for the donation, feel free to check out my Twitter and my Discord, which actually just made me realize I have not put the milestone info on my Discord. So while I am doing that, I am really looking forward to um, just giving you guys as, uh, as best of content as I can. Um, if the stuff that I do, which is primarily drawing and uh, playing video games, uh, sounds like your guys' fancy, uh, you're more than open to stick around, I would appreciate the company. With that said, I am also drawing a special friend of this is my friend uh the pitiful almond she is an 18 plus uh streamer who also loves to do a lot of phasmophobia and a lot of uh spoopy stuff lately so please be warned she will probably scream your ear off but she but they mean it in all the best ways. Also, they use she, they, so be sure, be sure to get that. <laughs> Give me just a quick moment. I hope everyone is doing well, by the way. Um, for anyone that would like to talk in the chat, you're more than open to. If you just want to lurk, not a problem. There is a cute little lurk message for those that want to use it. Thanks so much for lurking, oh, friend. If you want to still support the channel while you're away, feel free to mute the streams tab in your web browser. Why is that so loud? How and why are you so loud, speech chat? Gods above. Uh, yeah, why do you have to be so loud? There should be no reason why you are so loud. I guess I'll make Bardley 
louder for now because oh it probably was because I had everything relatively quiet or loud on my end for like my headphones so it wasn't properly loud and loud on uh, for you guys but for me uh, I didn't realize until just now that I had the music too low because I had the settings on my headphones for myself set too loud. <laughs> oh, 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 I love this. Also still lurking, just peeking and hee hee. Yeah. Thank you for the lurk, Medusa. Now that I've installed You're them welcome. for about almost 10 minutes, let's get this going. If I can stop being distracted from stuff. But yeah, for those that do not know them, uh, Almond is an awesome bean. Be sure to check out their content. Uh, hold on, I'm also doing something for work. Uh, brain, go all over the place. Gotta love it. I'll also be lurking as well unless I feel like joining your VC. Yeah. Yeah, not a problem, buddy. And thanks so much for, for hanging out. Yo. Hey, DBS, how's it going, man? I've got so many cords in this tiny area. <laughs> Still recovering, but doing better, you? I'm doing pretty alright. I'm pretty excited for Friday coming up. Pretty... The, a, a little on the, on the spooked side, though, I'm not gonna lie. Thanks so much for lurking, friend. If you want to still support the channel while you're away, feel free to mute the streams tab in your web browser. How come? I mean, a mix of nervousness and, and excited, because I still don't have everything quite... If ya planned. don't mind sharing. But for, for the stream that's going to be coming up on Friday, like, I still don't have everything 100% planned, so I'm kind of doing things by ear. And it's a little intimidating, considering the fact that it's... Popping in to remind everyone that you're all amazing people, adorable beans, and a bunch of cuties. Thank you, Zelda. Really appreciate it. The 
it, it's just jitters more than anything right now. I interrupted the beam. <laughs> You're all good, Zelda. How dare ya call us cuties slash J. <laughs> I mean, it takes a cutie to know a cutie, so you you just kind of called yourself out there, buddy. That's not how this works. Yes, it is. I say so. Too late. Hey man, I'm sure you got this. Just try to stay calm and not stress out about it too much, yeah, no? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do my best. Knowing my brain, it's gonna be a little difficult to try and curb the urge to stress about it. But at least I have, I still have some time to get everything that I want situated. So. It's not like I will be, like, completely out of things. Uh, just... Just there's been, like, stuff that's also come up, like... Um, and, like, I don't want to say, like, too much of, like, what's happened, because it relates to a secret that's going to be revealed, um during the Donathon, and I don't want to spoil anything. Because like, yeah, it was, it was stressful what happened, but I don't want to give away exactly what happened. No spoilers, yeah. got it. Yeah. Secret. Secrets. And I'm doing my my best to keep it a secret. And I got flipping 24 at well, technically 36 hours. Before. Is it good or bad though? Uh, I will say it was a close call. That, that's all I want to say for now. It was, is it was a close call. Okay. Gonna be a bit silent for a bit. My phone needs to charge, so I'm gonna leave it nearby and listen to the stream in the background while I use my other phone to search the web. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do what you want to and do what you got to, Zelda. No obligation to be chatting 24-7. I appreciate those that want to chat. I know these are pretty chill streams and with stuff like this, people don't normally want to, like, chat chat, which is totally fine. Also, let me turn down the music so that I'm not, so that I am, I can be more easily heard compared to the music. Yeah. Also, how is the how is the Cat. delay? How is the the delay for the stream? Is it is it bad? Kitty cat. Yes, almond is our delay test. It seems pretty good. Noise. I'm really happy about that because I know. Uh, Shit, I don't know, but I don't think so. Yeah. Also, hey, hey, Celine. Everyone, give uh, love to uh, the lovely mod Celine Heidelman over here. About seven to ten seconds. Okay, that's not bad compared to like flipping thirty seconds at one time. Like it seemed good. 
My bad clicked send before I was ready. You're good. All good, DBS. And heck, why are you calling me out? X3. Because you are awesome and I appreciate your company and the support and the support that you've given on stream and behind the scenes. Because you are an awesome person and you deserve respect and love. Because you are cool PPLS at Selene underscore Hailman. Hey, we aren't gonna complain about that insane delay unless I bring it up slash J. <laughs> ha, thank you. X3. But anyways, the delay though. Yeah, oh, the delay from last time was super bad. I'm glad that Xbox I was able to get... Xbox or PlayStation Road. Oh! PlayStation? Honestly? Like, I've had experiences with Xbox, but um, I'm very nostalgic for Sony and PlayStation. Good choice. Yeah, I, I'm very nostalgic for the uh, for PlayStation and, and Sony. Um, I didn't grow up with Microsoft. But I do have a PS2, PC, yeah. or PlayStation. Oh, see, so, you now that depends. Um, hmm. that really depends. Going off of nostalgia. Nostalgia alone, I still want to say uh, PlayStation, but I know that not everything Tread is... carefully, sir. Oh yeah, I know, I'm treading carefully. Um, I will say... I'm actually kind of 50-50. I can't really pick between um, either of them, because there's more versatility with, with PC and Steam. There's more possibility for like mods and such. The PC community, especially when it comes to gaming, yeah, same. is very versatile. Um, but I still have a lot of nostalgia with PlayStation and Sony consoles, and, and there's still a lot of games. memories. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's a lot more games on PC because like indie developers have so much more. Again, versatility. There's a lot of versatility with PC compared to home consoles. Steam damn near has an infinite library of games to play. Oh yeah. The only thing that it's really limited by is the imagination of its of its creators. Well, I'm a pop in and out for a bit, so hope stream goes well for Yad. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, DBS. Try not to have too much fun. Thanks so much for lurking, friend. If you want to still support the channel while you're away, feel free to mute the streams tab in your web browser. I remember playing some games on Flash before the shutdown. Oh, yeah. Neopets? Anyone remember Neopets?
sounds familiar. Sounds familiar? <gasps> oh, you did not grow up with Neopets. For shame. I'm joking. Uh, Neopets was... Well, when still actually it, still ongoing, just not as popular. Um, a website where you could take care of like digital pets and such. And one of the things was that you could actually play Flash games. I remember games. my friends playing Neopets and trying to get me into it, but it not being my thing. Um, you could actually play like some Flash games to like get some extra Neo points, which was kind of which is the main currency of the game. Uh, and you use Neo points to get uh, all kinds of stuff. Um, I actually remember having a copy of the the RPG. It was Internet Tomagaka meets Pokemon cards. That is actually a good way to word it. Yeah, Internet Tamagotchi with Pokemon cards. Yeah, I actually remember having um, the RPG on flipping PS2, The Darkest Fairy, and a slight, slight, I say slight, this is not going to be slight, uh, tangent incoming, I, um, used to watch my father play The Darkest Fairy a lot because, like, he was the one that kind of encouraged me to get into gaming, uh, and whatnot, and with The Darkest Fairy, Neopets being a family-friendly kind of content, but it's still, um, it's still being very immersive with like it's gaming. It was like, honestly, if there had to be something that you wanted to call uh, my first Dark Souls, it was the Darkest Fairy, straight up. It was so good. <laughs> but I, I have very fond memories of the Darkest Fairy and I really hope that I could get- I remember a, Pop Tropica. I really hope that I could get a copy of the Darkest Fairy so that I could play it again, maybe for streams. That would be super cool. Pop Tropica? I never actually got into Pop Tropica. I was more of the Gaia Online uh, person and Muchies. online there's a flashback to the aughts oh yeah flashback to the naughties wrote and others often need tone indicators to better understand what emotions people are trying to portray please remember to use tone indicators to ensure you are understood for example slash g means genuine tone slash j means joking tone slash hj means half joking slash srs means serious slash nm means not mad I think I had a decent amount of things I think in 2010 on Pop Tropica. Oh dang. The days of Windows Vista and Boy Band Backlash. <laughs> three. Boy Band Backlash. Oh yeah. Dusk is an amazing person, adorable bean, and a big cutie slash G slash SRS. Thank you Zelda, it takes one to no one. Ain't no way I'm missing my cue with that tone indicator message. <laughs> it's been forever since I've been on it. That account prob doesn't exist anymore. Britney was a joke instead of a captive of an unfair system, Michael Phelps was a household name, and we all were texting like mad because it didn't cost 10 cents per message anymore. Right? 
Uh, I, I will say, like, you mentioning Brittany, I will say that was one fault of the 2010s. Like, the naivety that we had because of how much, how young a lot of us were, uh, made us very ignorant to what was actually going on. Prime example, like, Britney Spears and her being a victim of the conservatorship. Not just Britney, but like several others. The actress's name is fucking escaping me and I feel horrible for it, but the actress who was from the, the Star Trek original series, she was put in a conservatorship and there was uh, allegations of of um, elder not so nice treatment and I'm just going to put it at that for now. I'm sorry, what? Uh, hold on, let me move my mic to be like a hair closer to me. Um, I, I just feel like the, like the 2010, like early 2010s and late 2000s were an interesting time, but we also need to acknowledge like how much our naivety, our youth, and like our ignorance bred a lot of, um, not so great attitudes because like how we treated Brittany uh, by extension like how we treated that how we used to treat and by extension how some of us continue to treat um, people that are victims of like their conservatorships and things like that and also like just other not so nice situations like let, let's, let's not think of the 2010s or whatever time frame as like, oh, the good old days, because we, we, we got to have the hindsight to understand that there are some parts that we really should not be thinking fondly of. Heck, I was just talking about high school pop culture. X3. <laughs> I didn't say any of it was good. Fair. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna add a little more... Flip phones, way. though. Flip phones! I miss flip phones. Yes, I miss flip phones, too. Well, our good years could be someone else's bad year without realizing it. Oh, very anyway, true. Anyway, sorry for derailing things. Oh, you're fine. You are more than fine. I'm damn fine, but that's not the point. <laughs> Oh, seriously, tangents when like this are fine. Derail? Exactly. When do we not derail?
Oh shoot, I thought I had you. Oh yeah, I do have you quieted. Alert, Alert test. test. Alert test? P. Chan played the hobbits for 100 bits. <laughs> Fucking love this song. Ah, uh, so many memories with that song. I love how that is always waiting for me to claim. <laughs> oh yeah, it's ready for anyone to claim. Soundish good. Yay. Two point eight K points in hand. Prob more together. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Two and a half thousand points. I mean there's quite a few things that you could redeem if you really wanted to. Thank you, Celine. Actually, I should probably make. Full care happened. Yeah, I should probably actually get a snack. Um, I don't have a whole lot for snacking at the moment, but I could get some popcorn. But I do have some tea at the ready. Drown the cutie. Smother him in snack keys and put him on the rack with points. <laughs> this makes me want to save like a little, uh, like an area in my Discord server where, where people can put quotes. Because <laughs> I feel like you could add top hat for that. Because that is too perfect. Actually, since I did mention my Discord, for those that are curious, and are not in my Discord quite yet, feel free to hop in. Um, be warned, it is an 18 plus server. You have to be 18 years or older to be in the server. Hi, sorry about being late. Hey, not a problem, Machado. Not a problem. This is gonna be going on for quite a bit. Wait, so. doesn't mods have infinite points? I mean, do they? No, I don't think they do, or at least it varies. I, I think the, the streamer can change that, maybe. Don't call me on that, or don't quote me on that. Because I am a mod for someone, I mean, but I don't I get infinite points. I technically refund myself if I'm quick enough. You could, technically. Do I, do I have do to... You <laughs> ask? Actually, since uh, Machado, since you are new, for those that are not uh, 
For those that are unfamiliar with my content, hi, I am Road to Dust. You can call I me think I remember Road another streamer that has mods with infinite points. You can call me. I prefer to save my nefarious abuses of power for when my target is already weakened by exceeding their goal by hundreds of dollars and possibly a hype train or two. <laughs> Very fair, which makes me very intimidated for what's going to happen on Friday. But for those unfamiliar with my content, hi, I am Road to Dusk. You can call me Road or Dusk, whichever you prefer, or anything that you would call a friend. I am a oh, wow. recent variety streamer that has been getting into a lot of gaming uh, and drawing, as you can see here. I am also contemplating on also getting into, um, uh, like reacting to like uh youtube videos and such like memes and uh maybe scary videos especially since we are getting close to spoopy month um it i normally play a lot of um like jrpgs and such i've recently been getting super deep in um splatoon actually if any of that sounds up your alley Feel free to stick around. I I would appreciate the company. Spoopy. Spoopy. Dusk is forgetting to mention that he's an amazing person, adorable being, and a big cutie. Thank you, Zelda. Ah, Road, you know I'm intimidating by nature. You flatter me. <laughs> Look, take take it as a compliment. You're you're able to extend your uh, intimidation. The two. <laughs> You're able to extend your intimidation beyond its normal means. <laughs> and you do it in the most loving way, and I appreciate it. Just imagine if I hop into VC and let you hear my intonation as well as wording 3. <laughs> Thing is, the, like, like you said, like in relation Do to it. like it only like working, that, that wouldn't really have a lot of effect on me unless I'm already like emotionally compromised. Like you said, like if... I'm dealing with a hype train or something, then absolutely, like your your intonation and whatnot would break me. Now I wonder, what is your favorite game? Uh, based on this, like, I need you to be more specific with that. Favorite game in what sense? Favorite game based on nostalgia? Are we talking about, like, favorite recent game? Um, like, classify that a little bit more for me, please. Any. That that does not help my brain.
Favorite game to unwind to? Favorite game to unwind to? I mean, Animal Crossing. Like, that is a very nice and very relaxing uh, game. It's a very, it's a really great way to, like, just go, like, like, I'm trying to figure out a good way to describe how much I like Animal Crossing. It's like, when you have just barely enough spoons to have the energy to, like, admit to yourself, I want a game, but I don't want to do anything super intense. What is one of the most relaxing, least intense games that, like, that is of the modern you're era? One like, over all the games, a fame you wish you can replay for the first time over and over. Oh, see, a number one game. Um, number one game overall. A game you wish you could replay for the first time over and over. Um, I want to say Kingdom Hearts, but that's, I feel like that's also cheating because that's just my special interest. Um, if I had to pick something outside of my special interest, I would probably say, uh, Mm. Wait, favorite game you could replay for the first time over and over and never get tired of it. If it wasn't um, Kingdom Hearts, it would have to be the OG Final Fantasy VII on PS1. Neat. Yeah. I tried playing the eye a few times and struggled to get into it. What draws you to it? Uh I mean for me one of the biggest things that draws me to Final Fantasy VII is um turn based combat. I think turn based combat is very interesting and um I also find it very Weirdly nostalgic, even though I didn't play um, Final Fantasy VII until I was in my teens. Uh, not because I didn't have access to... Um, it wasn't because like I didn't have access to the game when I was younger. It was more that just raised pretty isolated, and it wasn't until my uh, one of my older siblings, now ex-spouse... Uh, uh, introduced me and like gave me, um, gave me his copy of Final Fantasy VII. Considering he knew that video games and especially video games by Square Enix, such as Kingdom Hearts, are a big thing for me. And he was like, "Hey, I don't use, I don't play this anymore. It's just kind of collecting dust. You'll actually be playing stuff. You want it?" I was like, "Fuck yeah, give please and thank you." <laughs> but. It's also, it's also a bit of a time capsule. Cause like with me being mid twenties, technically Final Fantasy VII came out before I was born. Right at the cusp of, of before I was born. I know it's gonna make some people feel old, but I also love the look and feel of older games. They can be annoying sometimes with their controls, but it's also a great way to encapsulate a part of video game and technological history and it's something that was made to be enjoyable on top of the irony of being a time capsule today and i think that that's pretty neat make some people feel old indeed x3 <laughs> I'm sorry, Zoli. Which you like I, more, turn-based or real-time RPG? Oh, actually turn-based. I love turn-based because it gives me time to process everything that's going on and helps me to have the time to 
make my next decision. Like, a, one thing that I especially love about, like, the what Fire Emblem series... What makes me feel old is remembering all the things that came out and happened the year I was born. Oh. I was born in 2001 and yet. Ooh, me! In the year 2000. For example, SpongeBob first aired a few months before I was born. Fuck yeah, SpongeBob! I miss OG SpongeBob. Like some of the themes, and like themes and morals that you would act that you would get from OG uh, SpongeBob episodes, like top tier. Like especially the ep the episode where like Sp SpongeBob had to learn, hey, uh, jokes in relation to a marginalized group, especially when done at the at their behest, are not actually jokes. Like they were teaching some good shit. Now, if only people would actually fucking listen. And my birthday was a little under a month after certain two building went down. Oh, dang. Which episode had that kind of self-awareness, Road? Uh... Oh, the one with, like, the self-aware... Mm. Well, no, I'm... What I just mentioned was the episode when it was... Um... The ones they played on repeat were all gross or clowning. Yeah... Um, I mean, like, some of, like, season one, season two, like, very, very early Spongebob when Mr. Hillenburg was still alive and, like, he was really heading, um, the series. Um, like, seriously, one of my favorite episodes, like I just mentioned, was the episode where Spongebob would, like, the Crested Crab was turned into a comedy club and Spongebob was making jokes at the behest of Sandy. Like, he was making jokes in relation to her being a squirrel. Her being from Texas, which very on the nose xenophobic, and when SpongeBob actually learns at the end of the episode, hey, that shit isn't right, and regardless of whether people think it's funny I or not, that episode. Re regardless of whether people think that it may be funny or not, if it hurts somebody, like legit hurts somebody, and it's at their behest. It's not truly funny, it's hurtful. Didn't he resolve it all by taking the piss out of everyone instead of just focusing on the only land animal in the area? I, I think so, yeah. I haven't watched the episode in a while, but like, especially with um, a, a certain comedian that's made a lot of transphobic takes, um, I feel like that's an episode that a lot of people should rewatch and rethink and, like, introspect on.
Maybe we should community night it. Oh, yeah! That'd be super cool. Apparently, the first Smash Brothers game was released in the year I was born. Damn. I kind of hate that I'm somewhere between old enough to be all of your moms or babysitter. <laughs> I've been recently going back into the games I have not finished on the PS2 and wow, I forgot how much I played the original Jack and Dexter. Oh, the original Jack and Dexter. Road and others often need tone indicators to better understand what emotions people are trying to portray. Please remember to use tone indicators to ensure you are understood. For example, slash G means genuine tone, slash J means joking tone, slash HJ means half joking. Slash SRS means serious, slash NM means not mad. Dusk is an amazing person, adorable bean, and a big cutie slash G slash SRS. Thank you, Zelda. Have there been any, uh, any of the redeems? I'll have forgotten this in an hour, but the episode is from Season 2 and called Squirrel Jokes. Yes! One SEC, let me check. No redeems yet. Okay. I don't know why, but my internet is trash right now and I don't feel like restarting my router. Oh. Nothing since that care package, anyway. I really hope that your internet gets better s soon, Zelda. Like, that, that's gotta be rough.
I wish more games have little to none loading screens like Jack and Dexter. Mmm. I actually didn't know that Jack and Dexter didn't have that many loading screens. It never had any. Anyway, actually. You know, actually, now that you mentioned loading screens, I don't remember any of the Kingdom Hearts games having, well, the original Kingdom Hearts games on PlayStation 2 having any loading screens except for chain of memories i know chain of memories had um loading that had loading screens and i don't think the other games in the main series does either want more open world games <laughs> yeah open world games are pretty fun OOP ad mm hmm oh no sorry sorry about the ad I've returned. Hooray! Welcome back. But anyways, yeah, less loading screens, the better. Yes, agreed.
Let me see how that look. Yes. Now that I think about it, I don't think any Metroid-like games don't have many loading screens. Oh, Only that quick is true. Screen drag. That is true. This is a weird rabbit hole you got me on, Road. Yeah. I'm learning way more about this stupid episode of a show I actively loathe. X3. I mean, I grew up with Spongebob. So I, I have fond memories of Spongebob, honestly. I know that there's kind of like the, the stereotype, and I heard this... I heard this a lot from, like, my, my elders of, like, Oh, Spongebob is so amoral, it'll rot your brain! But, like, early seasons of Spongebob were actually trying to teach you some really good shit. It was honestly when the show, when Hindenburg uh, first left the Spongebob series after working on the first Spongebob movie that things really started to tank. I know you did, and I was old enough to find it a lot less appealing just by how it presented itself. Anyway, I'm happy to save that for a community dissection night on it. X3. Yay. Yay. Oh god, it reminded me this one time I was listening to the radio and I think it said Spongebob made you dumber. Okay, yeah. I would not be surprised. And Metroid Prime mostly did away with loading screens, although occasionally a door or elevator might take a few seconds to open. Mmm, I see. If you have the Metroid Prime Trilogy, that is some good content right there. Ooh. I actually never really got into the Metroid series, but I'm willing to give it another shot. I remember some games having little mini-games on loading screens. Yeah. Metroid Prime is a good place to start, hard, but full featured. Ooh. I'll definitely think about it. I've played Metroid Prime 3 once because I randomly got it on the Wii, but never got far and lost it shortly thereafter. Oof. Games on loading screens are actually rare because there is a patent on it. Really? 
There's a patent on having a loading screen? I did not know this. That is interesting. And kind of shifty. Oh yeah, I randomly found that. Yep, a heavily defended patent on mini games and loading screens, specifically. It expires in about 30 years. 30 years, Jesus Christ on a bicycle. That's longer than I've been alive. Damn. Right? Oof. Yeah, don't get me started on IP law and terms. Would have been useful on that one game that had a nine minutes loading times. Wow. Would also have been nice in the days of dial-up, when your 56 kbps modems took a minute to download a single 250x 300px.jpg file. I and I think I remember having one of the DBZ games on PS2 having a loading minigame. I am very lucky that I did not have to live with dial-up, or if I did it was incredibly short-lived. Dial-up wasn't that bad, it made content creators optimize before putting stuff out on the internet. We got some really cool things because people were creatively constrained. At one point dial-up was the fastest internet. Yeah, that's really, that's really surreal to think about. Like, we, we, we kind of dunk on flipping uh, dial-up because it's like really easy to now because it's like oh it was like primitive wi-fi like oh we got wi-fi now like we're so much better but like we got to put in the hindsight like just how much of an innovation dial-up was Dial-up was the only internet. X3. Exactly. Exactly.
We had to get our internet software on CD-ROM disks and load it into our system that way because we couldn't just download a web browser without one installed. I remember when like you had to get like some the really good games on CD-ROMs like OG Nancy Drew. Like come on, that that was pinnacle. That was pinnacle. Absolute top tier. I remember AOL 0.5. I think, I think I remember learning about the Sega channel and if they actually patented it, they would be the number one internet provider or something. Oh, wow. Nice, Machado gets me. My son has no idea what a floppy disk is. See, at least I grew up with flipping floppy disks. I, I knew floppy disks for like a little bit in like some of my dad's old tech when he was in IT like years ago. Like he actually had to still mess with floppy disks. Namely because IT companies are always like 20 years behind, or more like 10 years behind, but they're still behind when it comes to tech. My papers were all saved on floppy disks for school. We, we didn't, didn't have, have SD cards or flash drives yet. yet. Dang. One point five megabytes was big enough for most things, unless it was a game or OS or something. I preferred the floppy disk to the CDs because you could edit CDs without special CDs. The only reason people know about floppy disks would be from inscription. Oh. Inscription's a decent game. Like, yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. Probably, like, younger folks now will probably only know, or primarily know, floppy disks because of Inscription. Ah, uh, that makes me feel old. Jesus. What's Inscription? Uh, Inscription is a game, uh... Oh, it's really difficult to explain. Uh, Bunny, you can explain it. Inscription, the card game on Steam. It's from the creator of Pony Island and I think Hex. Ooh. I actually didn't know that he made Pony Island. My first game was a Mother Goose game on a floppy disk. That <laughs> nice. Reader Rabbit here. Reader Rabbit!
Yet and I think they're a whole arc around all his games. In the days where we launched Windows from DOS. Actually, like, I remember uh, having Rita Rabbit games um, even for um, 98, like Windows 98 and, two, and the subsequent one after. Was there one in between uh, 98 and Vista? I forget. They made new Reader Rabbit games later on, but the original ones were Apple II and DOS. Uh... Windows 2000 and me came between 98 and XP. Ah, right, okay. And XP, XP came, came before, before Vista slash, slash Longhorn. Longhorn. Yes. Yes, yes. Splat. Splat. Splatoon. Splatoon. TTS funny. Yeah, TTS do be funny sometimes. Longhorn? Longhorn? What about Longhorn? I, I am confused. What about Longhorn? The, the name for Vista, Vista before it was released. Oh! When was that an OS? OS? Waka 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 waka. Waka waka. Waka 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 fantasy. Unfortunately for the OS, I cannot answer that because I don't remember using Longhorn. 
God, I, I keep getting distracted. distracted. I'm, I'm meant, meant to be working. working. <laughs> I'll come on at some point and do a cranky old lady talks history night at some point in the future. Three. I'm too busy making TDS noises. That would be awesome, <laughs> Celine, actually. I think that would be a lot of fun. Okay, now I need to make her tail. Because I forgot her tail when I did the sketch. It's about the same. Well, Road, your stream is one of the few late enough for me to jump on when I'm not buried. I'll just invade one of your streams when you least expect it. What, like, uh, when no one expects my raids? Because no one expects the Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> Road and others often need tone indicators to better understand what emotions people are trying to portray. Please remember to use tone indicators to ensure you are understood. For example, slash G means genuine tone, slash J means joking tone, slash HJ means half joking, slash SRS means serious, slash NM means not mad. Good. <laughs> That's looking really cute. Now I just need to work on uh, the, the clasps on the belts on the boots. Now before I go too far actually, Oh yeah, something, something about, about you being a bean and a cutie with AG and an SRS. <laughs> Thank you, Zelda. That wasn't Zelda XP. Oh. I'm so used to Zelda being the one dude. It was funny. Aw, uh, well thank you. I don't know why I thought I would be able to chat over my TV. It was a cutie. <laughs> it's all good, Machado. Hold up. 
was doing something. I'll get that message. <laughs> Dusk is an amazing person, adorable bean, and a big cutie slash G slash SRS. Thank you, Zelda. What, you didn't want someone else stealing your thunder? I had it copied, but forgot I copied something else. Prop. <laughs> Twitch hit me with ads for being late. Oh. My last ad is a blank screen. Oof. Maybe refresh? I'm back now. Welcome back. Twitch B, twitching. Thank you, thank you. I'm here existing. <laughs> As you should. Alright. I think I'm actually gonna get this done a lot quicker than I originally thought I would. Cause... Yeah, this is coming out really good and really quickly too. I think probably just one of the things I'm going to have... Oh, wait. I need to draw her earrings. She has so many piercings. Almond, why do you have so many piercings? Oh, hydrate. Oh, hydrate. Thank you. For my tea claimed on my glasses. Alright. I, I want, want to make a joke, joke but, but I don't think it's fit for my usual wholesomeness. I mean, you can if you want to. Make it in the Discord. Yeah. 
Because you're in the Discord, Zelda. had the entire thing typed up and now I had to delete it to ask where. <laughs> Unless you some reason aren't. No, Zelda's in a Discord. Could, Could you, you just, just cut, cut slash, slash copy, copy the text? text? Wasn't on my mind at the time, but I still know it. I uh, don't really have enough space to do her lip piercings, but screw it. I mean, unless I want to move it, let's see how it looks actually if I move the mouth so that there's space for their piercings. Since it's not really anything bad, per se, should, should I just say it here? Uh, since it's not anything bad per se, sure, that's totally fine. Get on with it. <laughs> Oh, that should be something that I should add for a point where D and for like when I tangent and people are like, like get on with it. I should have that as a point where D and like the multi Python get on with it. Maybe she has so many piercings because of the fact she likes getting penetrated. <laughs> Cutting wit, that. <laughs> I wish he was here to hear that because, oh my, that Many. is gold. Hey, DBS. What the fuck happened? Uh, wait, we're dissing OMG Almond. XD. We're dissing. Hold we're... up. <laughs> We're, we're just dissing Almond because she's not here and she's a bottom. We, we, we do it because we love them, though. We, we love them so much. 
someone clip it. Please. Please clip it. Oh, a bottom? Hmm. Damn bottoms diss and bottoms, that's crazy. <laughs> I am a I am a switch, and I have been dom leading lately. Thank you very much. Top hat can concur. You know what? I'm not afraid to send a screenshot of the joke to her. I do it. Do it. Do it and generate a new password, Zelda. <laughs> Clipped. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be back. Pray, Pray for, for me, me boys. <laughs> Okay, okay, Mr. Mr. Feisty was, was just teasing LOL, LOL slash J slash S. S. <laughs> You're good, DBS. I figured that you were joking. I was just trying to joke back. Posted the clip of this to the Discord. Yes! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Love oh. jokes. Almonds in the server, actually, so if you want to tag them... Actually, I don't know if Almond is okay with tags. In, In case, case someone, someone wants, wants to link her. Thought TDS said lick and not link. <laughs> Get your mind out the gutter, DBS. Damn, you're spat out, Machili. <laughs> Guess you, you have, have to chill, chill down, down after, after that. that. Right? I ping her anyway. The, the mods can try to take me if they think they can three. <laughs> the gutter is the way. Zelda. High road. Lexi! WTF. How's it going, Lexi? Well, well, we, we do, do have, have the head, head here. here. <laughs> Almond! Oh my god! <laughs> Almond! Hi, Almond! <laughs> hey, Lexi. At Dapati Fullomond, I know you too well. Almond, how are you liking this so far? I think this is what I have for the light art you. completely before I start doing the color. Doing well, ended stream a few minutes ago. You everyone all vibing here. It looks gorgeous. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. I actually gotta well, get the- glad to see ya, cutie. I G so. Let's get the eyes. Five time. Five time. Well, I mean that again, like phrasing like that. Just, just embrace it. You need to embrace it. 
Kisolini High DBS. Draw time. And if everyone want, by the in VCXP. Almond. Miss Chu Lots Hun. At asterisks underscore official high, asterisks. Here's another reminder that you're an amazing person, adorable being, and a mega cutie. Oh, Sublexi. It takes one to know one, Zelda. Thank you, Zelda. I hope everyone oh, is doing well, so by Almond the way. So Almond isn't the only one who wants to be penetrated. Mm -hmm. If DBS is breaking out the vibe, too. <laughs> Love you two asterisks. At Selini underscore Hailman. And yet I'm the gutter minded one. Shrugs, it's all about framing and timing. <laughs> also, if anyone would like to join me in the VC, you're more than open to. Oh. Um, for those that are not part of my Discord, here's a link I to just my now Discord. Realized Zelda called yet regular cute while calling a Strix mega cutie. Oh. But yeah, for those uh, that don't that are not in my discord yet there's a link for my discord please know that it is a not plus. gonna lie oh. i may come back to the vod hey, just sexy. to watch the joke and aftermath for entertainment how's it going oh i said hey sexy we all know lexi gets the bonus yeah. <laughs> wish i could got too many ppl around me trying to sleep so i can't join at the zelda player 99 Bonus modifiers? What? I can't hear Lexi. <laughs> oh wait, can't hear Lexi. Ah, uh, that's because I had the oh, shoot, the thingy I kinda for. Wanna join in. Uh, I have too many audio things that I had to keep control of for my stream. Plus, my grandma room like less than ten feet away from me. LOL. At Dapati Fulman, love ya. Cat. Yeah. No, you're good. I got it all figured out on my end. So, did you win any rounds? And I'm not trying to out myself like that. LOL. Hmm. VC talks can get crazy. I still, I still can't, can't hear, hear her. Wait, still can't hear her? How? That's weird. Hold on, let me... And spicy. Properties... Yeah, executable. It's connected to the Discord chat. Can you... Hold on. Why is it being a derp? Ugh. Alright. Properties, you know what? Let's do ex everything except for. Your server, Chrome. Alright, let's try that. Can you say a thing, Lexi? <laughs> yo, what is. Yo, what is it with. People bitching and complaining about the new Dragon Ball game. They don't quite understand the concept of how this game is supposed to work. Hmm? It's like DB DBD. You're trying to survive Majin Buu and Cell. There she is. You don't defeat them. He, I, I got it figured out. I got the audio figured out. Cool. But that don't answer my question. You're a spicy bean. <laughs> <laughs> Zelda called you a spicy bean. As always. <laughs> Volume Lord in Discord. Okay. 
No, cool. They sound, can hear me. Yeah, you sound perfectly fine on my end. I just had to mess with um, how I had the audio divided for mm -hmm. no, for my outputs. All good. Yo, we got a couple of pe people in the in the chat. Right. I can't hear anyone though. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, Bonnie. My ears. Check one two. <laughs> e. Hold on, why? Where's the? I exist. <laughs> You do exist indeed. Let me make you two a bit bigger. There we go. I was like, do you, do you want to move us yes. over? Or are you we good here? Are we comfy here? One joke. But you're, I think oh no, you're don't make. Oh no, don't make us airheads. <laughs> Suddenly, then they popped in for a cameo and then dipped. Like an absolute <laughs> legend. <laughs> Fucking love her. I know, me too. Please come back! I'm not desperate. <laughs> also, uh, when you were talking about the DBZ, the new DBZ, I also completely understand that. Mm -hmm. mm. People don't seem to quite understand the grasp of it. The fact that we get to play as the farmer. Do I remember the farmer? Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. So, episode one, Dragon Ball Z, when Nappa and Vegeta land. There's a farmer that comes in and approaches him with a, sh with a gun. And it's the same farmer that encounters Cell and Majin Buu over time. He has no powers, and that's the whole point. We get to play as the farmer. Hi, Celine. Celine. Well, if you're going to beg for me to return, I suppose I have no choice. Yeah. It, to be completely honest, I wasn't begging. I'm not the type to beg. <laughs> mm, of mm. course not. I'm sure that's not as close as you're going to get on this stream. Respectfully. Respectfully. <laughs> bark, bark, wolf, wolf. <laughs> oh my. You're saying you want wow. to be thrown down the well after Timmy. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, this room is already getting spicy. <laughs> oh yeah, Bunny, I should have warned you. When Lexi comes in the room, like, shit hits the fan. No, more shit doesn't hit the fan, more like clothes come off. <laughs> it's the clothes that hit the fan. Well, two can play the this bed, and the chair, and the <laughs> turn off. Clothes, clothes to hit the floor. You know, I have such lovely lingerie, uh, such lovely sets of lingerie, but they don't look, but here's the thing, they tend to be on either the doorknob or the floor, more so than me. <laughs> well, Here's the thing, the you can play this game. Mm. Well, I'm excited for the game. I um, I really can't wait to see how... Um, I can't wait to see more gameplay footage, and I can't wait to see what characters I they the add on the DLC. For the DBZ? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, Machado said, I thought the, yeah. dimer, the farmer died to Raditz. And Did he? Uh, I gotta double check I mean, that. I mean, it's the Dragon Ball universe. Death isn't an incurable disease. It really isn't. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, oh, it's just... He just he just casually died in battle. Let's just revive him with the Dragon Balls. Death doesn't mean anything. It's just a, you just need to find the Dragon Balls and rinse and repeat. Right. No one's dead forever. Basically. I mean, but eventually you'd want to stay dead. I mean, that's one of the underlying threads with the immortal stories, isn't it? After mm. a certain point, it's just not fun watching all of your friends grow old and firm and die around you. Accurate. Yeah. Also, it's been confirmed that Boma collects the Dragon Balls just to age herself down by five years every so often. Mm. I don't know how to feel yeah, about this I, information. I, yeah, I've watched the movie. Uh, the hero of the movie. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> it's just really funny. Then again, 
Wouldn't Bulma have been younger than her son on several occasions before she gets to the point where she's wishing things down? Like, in timeline-wise, anyway. Yeah, I I honestly keep forgetting how old Bulma is throughout certain parts of, of like, different sagas. So at this point, I just immortalize her to be somewhere between her uh, mid-20s to early 30s the entire time. In 20s to early 30s, she starts not. out as 16 in the first uh, Dragon Ball. So what's what's the time skip between Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z? Is it like 10, like 12, 13 years? Well, how old was Goku in Dragon Ball Z? He was in Dragon Ball Z? Um, fuck, I don't know. Okay, these are the questions I've been needing to ask. Like okay, go into the Dragon like Ball 40s. Because he would have been canonically <laughs> between 8 and 12 years old in the original series, just depending on which point in the timeline. Yes. Around his 20s. So the time skip would have put him at least 10 years ahead, and more than likely closer to 15, so that you could have a reasonable 8 to 10 year old Gohan. Mm hmm. And I don't think that Dragon Ball Z started with an infant Gohan, did it? Um, I want to say he uh, was like five to eight. Kid Gohan. Yeah, Kid Gohan, who was like five, six years he old. He was a kid. So, yeah. kind of a Something hard lower bound to Gohan avoid creepiness factor of like fifteen years in there. Uh, DBS says that Gohan was four. Hmm. Gohan was four in the beginning of DBZ? Because he is 11 by the Cell huh. Games. Oh, because he is 11, oh, by, the he's Cell 11 games. by the Cell Games. Yeah. Yeah, because Cell Games, he is a teen? Hmm. 11 is correctly? not teenaged. Yeah, that's... No, I thought during the Road Cell Games, I thought he was like in high, like high school. Better understand what or emotions people was he in high school? Because I remember Please he was attending school around that time when he became Sandman. Understood. For example, well, say um, yeah, because I was all games, though, slash wasn't it? J means joking like, tone. Like, here's slash the thing, like, J the game calls uh, Gohan a teen in the serious. game. Slash mm. NM means not mad. When does cell games happen? Dusk is an amazing person. Let's take a look at something. Being, Goku's age. Slash G slash SRS. Thank you, Zelda. Goku was 23 when he died. I well, and then you consider the hyperbolic time chamber putting everybody ahead a couple of years. Oh yeah. You write my. Don't forget about the hyperbolic chambers little effect thing. I, this is all just going over my head because I never got into Dragon Ball. Oh, I didn't either. Clearly. <laughs> I've only been up to the See, Cell Saga. Sure to Anything after that, I'm completely blind. Not even the Boo Saga. How TDS says says Gaku. No, not the Boo because. Um, like, I knew about, like, Boo later on, and the other series, but the the game I had was Budokai for the mm. PS2, and that only went up to the end of Cell Saga. Gotcha. Mm. This is gonna take... For my purposes, I was... Wa when... They started airing Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball in the country I was living me, at LOL. the time. Um, I was just about the right age to enjoy watching Goku run around with a monkey tail and a massive pole. Um, but it's by the time that they actually LOL. built into Dragon Ball Z, I was already, like, DBZ I, I, I didn't have access to Samurai that kind of television cats. anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so it was like, well, whoops. <laughs> but I did end up having whoops. some classmates who were particularly into it. And I, not realizing it was something different, uh, would try and talk with them and get lectured at fairly great length about what had happened in the last week. Um, <laughs> you know, because boys like to show off, I guess. Um, but at any rate, so... <laughs> that out. Man, you just want to make all the jerks, don't you? Oh, sorry, is somebody making jokes? Mm, yeah, I don't know. Okay. I'm over here trying to- I'm trying to do my best Stop. to try to keep up with this, but... 
Yeah, it, 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 according to the pizza way. Samurai Pizza Cats. Not a bad one. Samurai Pizza Cats. I remember that. Um, honestly, it, it kind of inspired some of my. It kind of inspired me back in high school when I started Sabini digging into it and actually like trying like to replicate some of the art style from that boys. from that series. I think I might have like at least a couple of pages of me recreating the, the Samurai Pizza Cats. Mm -hmm. I have, I'll have to find that. Also, DBZ just said in chat, I can imagine Celine just sitting there getting lectured like a school assignment by those boys. He called me DBZ, lol, I'm fucking crying. Did I? Seriously? I called you DBZ when I... <laughs> And your TBS. I'm, I'm sure this isn't <laughs> the first died. time. I'm pretty sure this isn't the first time. And, oh no, internet died. Rip. Rip the internet. Yeah. Guess there's no more YouTube. Oh wait, no, not my internet, but Celine's internet. I was reading the, her thing in chat. Damn. Yeah. Rip. Yeah, I know, I was trying to make a joke that oh, the no, internet Lex died with me. Fuck! Oh shit, Lexi. Is everyone's internet dying? What the fuck is it with the tur with the current time of day? Oh no. Testing? There you are. Okay. What happened there? I don't know. Oh, I, I, I noticed a couple of us were falling on and off. So, uh, mm. yeah, I'm here. I'm here. They're in two different uh. time zones, though. At least I think they are. Yeah, no, I, I, they are in different time zones. I was gonna say, um, bro, this is really coming along really well. Thank you. And Almond approved. I yes. love that. Yeah, I'm really happy that Almond likes this so far. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. We don't know Selene's time zone. Oh, well, your art don't. is really good, so. Thank you, buddy. I was I was uh, talking about this offline, but I was saying how Rhodes artwork has grown exponentially within the past month and I'm just kind of like damn it's impressive I, um, I noticed the same something happened to double I would say like last year uh, the first draft of uh, there was a commission I had from double from a, about a year ago and a year later when I commissioned him for a update um, his art style changed drastically to the point where it was like this is not if the same. Broke, this isn't I the death, same as it was before. So I, for that. Um, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't even use that the, the old style that he he made for me from two years ago. Mm. I'm not saying it's bad or anything, but after like doing a comparison, I'm like, yeah, this is uh, this is definitely where it's at. Right. Sailing's coming in with all the clips. Right. Actually, I gotta look over some of the clips that uh, Project made of me, because aside from all the times that Project likes to make clips of myself, you know, like, you know, falling apart or whatever, uh, apparently he got a really good clip of me uh, just going on a killing spree in Fortnite. Nice. Let's see if I can look that up. I mean... Let, let's also just love the clips where I either backtalk or Sorry, like I just popped. I missed a bit there because I was clipping road calling DBS <laughs> DBZ. What was the question? Oh, he got that? Nice. That was crazy. I don't remember the question, Celine. Oh, if, I think the question was like your... If you and Lexi are in the same time zone, which I'm pretty sure you're not. Also, thanks for getting that, Selene.
But imagine. <laughs> but just imagine for a second. Do, 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 do. Imagine if you will. We are not in the same time one. No. But I'm not going to fix clear. that on a free weekend if I get one. I'm playing Splatoon and I'm dying. <laughs> well, have fun with that. <laughs> yes. Era, era. Oh no. <laughs> From there. Hey, Road, look what I redeemed. DVS, you shit. <laughs> <laughs> I see it. All right, Ooh, well, I have victims. Should all of us do it? So, no, uh -huh. I I have victims. You guys are going to be my victims. There you go. Well, I've heard you've done it before, so. Oh, you haven't heard of the variety of it. There's variety? Well, I mean, I yes, have two types of my it. point. I have uh, two types of my point redeems, like say-so and normal ara ara. Uh-huh. Yeah. God damn it. Hi, Celine. <laughs> Hello, my internet came back just in time, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> somebody redeemed yep. in. Uh -huh. <laughs> God, Shice Vedant. Uh, <laughs> what? I said, God fucking damn it in German. <laughs> Well, I'm going to take that to mean I did it right. No, I, it wasn't. It wasn't actually because of your ada ada. It's more just like the situation of like, oh god, this is actually a thing. I might need to bump up the points on this again. But oh, but oh I can't redeem this so many times though. D DPS wants all of us to do it. All right, I'll I'll go first because I'm the streamer here. Yeah. I'll save more than you fool, ha 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 ha. Pretty good. Good. Uh, <laughs> yes. So, like, next? Then. so, and Bunny would be next, since alphabetical. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That was shit. It, it wasn't <clears> bad. Could definitely be improved. Should I try that again? No, Up to I you. think one time is fine. Yeah, I haven't I haven't done one of these in forever, so I feel very rusty. But um, man, I wish I had a water with me. <laughs> ada ada. Still good though. Not bad. All right, and let's see how would I do it. <clears throat> Uh, 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 uh. Water. All of you have better voices than me. Ah, uh, Zelda, you're too kind for Thank all of not. our voices. <laughs> but I'm sure you have a delightful voice too. Yeah. I'll have to hear it sometime. Yeah. And Lexi, what is a oh, big nut? <laughs> Dice for era, era overload. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna explain this one. Alright. Big nut. Oh. Is it okay if I turn my auto auto again? Sure, I got myself some it. water? Yeah, go for it. Auto <clears> auto. <throat> So is that something that uh, men say as well as women? Uh, I yes. mean, yeah. it's become more memeified, I think, for like all VTubers. Um, like Ada Ada um, is, yeah, you more commonly hear it in anime uh, for like, uh, from like femme folks and very effeminate folks. So like, especially um, like very effeminate uh, gay guys in anime, um, 
But again, it's just I been just more memeified. I just realized memified. that I have two emotes that perfectly describe Asterix. Yeah, it's more of a joke so, thing than like an actual thing. Yeah, yeah. So it wouldn't necessarily make sense to hear someone go, uh... <clears throat> let's see if I can do this. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it just sounds really funny if you try to go like a deep voice with it. Yeah, yeah. It, it sounds I mean, like in it, it sounds like if you try to have fucking Jotaro uh, be in a like a BL audio CD. I mean, in fairness, most things sound ridiculous if you go properly low with them. Uh, let's see here. Asterisk so, must be like. Let me just read a couple lines out of chat, and so we'll see what it sounds like normal, and what That's it sounds like if I try to drop the bass. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I dropped my uh, phone. Uh, uh. I dropped my phone. <laughs> Big nut. Big nut. <laughs> I just realized that I have two emotes that perfectly describe Lexi. I just realized that I have two emotes that perfectly describe Lexi. Nut. Add saucy to the deep voice. Nut. <laughs> Lexi's emotes are blushing mischievously and very tight shorts. <laughs> Asterisk emotes be like blushing mischievously and tight shorts. <laughs> Add the saucy to the deep voice and it sounds better. Add the saucy to the deep voice and it sounds better. Deep voice can either be really funny or be hella serious. Okay. I just dropped the bottle. Hmm. Okay, one more. Oh my god. Deep voice can be either really funny or hella serious. Deep voice can be either really funny or be hella serious. See, now with that just made me think of like a super young Severus Snape. Same oh man, voices. I can only get Severus my Snape. For a while neither. there, I was able to go low enough to like hit James Earl Jones. That's actually pretty <laughs> impressive. Mm -hmm. Like I've actually just been, like, I've been enjoying this. I've honestly been enjoying this. Yeah. Well, okay, but Lexi, like you always enjoy my voice when you hear it. Yeah. And. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the, Dude, the trick with like... the low ones. The trick with the low ones, though, they kind of hurt like my jaw and all the way down because, like, I have to bend my head backward in order to get enough space for the deep resonance. Oh, so yeah. So it's actually kind of hard on me to do. <laughs> yeah, because like the deep voice like requires a lot more strain, I guess. Well, it also requires and because a, lot of, like... a lot of space. Like, it's no better than trying to, trying to basically like sing a deeper note. You can't hunch over like what you instinctively want to do because that constricts everything. You need to have a l as much space as possible. So you need to have space for your diaphragm, your lungs, like everything. Yeah. It it's just how you push the sound out through your uh, entire wind tracks. When I make mine and deeper, I tend to relax just, my voice or vocal cords. If you really or try manipulate how you're positioned, you can of usually get a little bit lower or, or a little bit higher. I know on Twitch have um, heard my voice but for now. me, like, oh, it's been so long since I really tried to go deep that it's just kind of painful now. Mm -hmm. um, and it'll get better with time if I keep at it, but right yeah. now, I'm trying not to go too deep. Right, no, understandable. There are times I feel it's... like my voice isn't... I, I, like, I've... During the process of my transitioning, I felt like I've felt it necessary to try to attempt a more feminine voice, and it's taken me a long time to kind of get accustomed to it. But there are days where I'm at my day job, and I feel like it's never enough. That, What's this about um, going deeper being like, painful? I, like, instinctively, I've turned it off in my mind. 
whenever I hear someone address me as like sir or whatever, like mm. in, a, in, a, in a in a male sort of way. And the thing is, I just know how to yeah, translate masculine. it. Yeah, 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 in a masculine way. But that being said, um, I think the repetition of me trying even harder with my customer service voice to just sound more feminine. And they still come across yes. like, yeah. Uh, it's just, oh, it's just, oh, thank you, sir, or thanks, sir. I'm just like, oh my fucking god, it's not working. It's just like, it's like, like this is just what happens to me uh -huh. because, like, Your voice as, very as nice you can hear, like, like this is my normal only voice. Got a better than what uh -huh. I have like, there's, to there's no attempt, no anything. Yeah. But whenever I do my customer voice, whenever I'm on the speaker of my drive-to workplace, uh -huh. some people will think that I sound feminine. Like, I'll, I'll use my voice from, like, one of my old jobs. <clears throat> Hello, welcome to Taco Bell. How can I help you today? Honestly, I hear no difference. I hear a slight difference. I'll fight whoever doesn't like Asterisk's voice. Sometimes I go, like, slightly higher, but... Opening up like that is hard to I, begin so I gotta be in, in the moment. If you don't do it for a Wait, while, so. Zelda. I was to say, TBS, thank you for that. That really, I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Well, it's I'll... true, though. Same Lexi, the Zelda player, do you have 99. a lovely voice, and your particular accent is also quite charming. And I think your voice is more feminine than you might realize. Um, but it definitely does also have some lower qualities. At the same time, not every woman's voice is going to be in, like, that soprano range. Altas exist. And we're delightful, thank you. I appreciate that. And yeah, I've I think one of the hardest things for me was just trying to get used to the sound of my voice, especially when it came to the video and audio editing. That I think that was the biggest challenge of all was just like accepting what I have mm -hmm. before I start altering it. Yeah, that's always the hardest part, like getting used to listening to your voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because usually whenever you hear your voice, like, you think of it, like, pretty normal and all that stuff. Like, you have, like, acknowledged that this is the voice that you have. Mm -hmm. But whenever you replay a video, your voice sounds completely different. And it's because of, uh, I think, like, air compression or something like that. Yeah, there's actually a thing um, where, the, because of how air and resonance whatnot and whatnot in your own head you hear your voice slightly deeper than it actually is because of all the resonance and everything. It bounces in your... off your bones, lol. It literally bounces off your bones, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and as somebody who has a fair amount of experience going both ways, uh, deeper is definitely easier to start with. Mm -hmm. And then you just kind of bring it up from there. Um, but going deeper actually Bone makes jiggle. it easier to control everything. And then once you've really gotten good at getting it deep, you start bringing it back up. Mm -hmm. And that's how you can hit the really high stuff. You know, as tons, nobody tells you about it. You only really hear in your nightmares, if you're honest. <laughs> I remember like people using like the higher pitch My bones don't for like jiggle jiggle they fold. Um like the kawaii stuff and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like the uwu, the kawaii. Yeah. Like all that stuff. Aww. And even the infamous even the infamous hentai moans. <laughs> oh let's not get into that right now. We can't. Yeah, we can't, I'm pretty sure that's a TOS violation, that or I would drop a few of those. Thing, so let's stick to a yeah. different yeah. subject before we go too deep on that. No mm -hmm. We'll have to save that. Yeah, I'm saying, like, people, like, people... Yeah. Whatever, you can do it. Anyway, like, yeah, like, people usually use those specific voice changes to do those actions. Hmm. <laughs> DBS saying that my high pitch is nightmare fuel. No offense taken. <laughs> After all, 
If I'm haunting your nightmares, I'll show up in all your dreams. Oh. Honestly, I'm like pretty okay with it. <laughs> and that's fine too. Always happy to delight. And Lexi seems to have gone muted. Sorry, I was just doing some compar some comparisons. So, uh, one oh. thing that one thing that kind of helps me a lot is uh, whenever I do my VR streams, don't uh, threaten me. It helps good time. seeing my avatar. It's um, I, I don't I'll know how to put honest. it because I have I something really to look at pitch. that I feel like that my I can connect with if I'm not talking in a uh, single on tone. a more personal basis. It allows me to kind of feel a little bit more, uh, I guess, easier. So Connected. I'm not having to force myself to feel like, am I going too hard with the with my voice? Am I going too hard with hitting a, high, a higher octave? But because I see her in full view, if my voice coming out of her, I'm just like, okay, this is actually a lot easier to handle. So I'm, I'm doing a comparison right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. Like, if you have, like, something that you know you want to put your voice on, uh -huh. and how do you want to do that voice, then, like, you can slowly make your voice as that, like, voice. Mm. Yeah, that is true. It's also good to listen to different uh, voices, particularly, like, actors or actresses that uh, you find appealing, mm. and start to take on some of those mannerisms. And it's not just that you'll start to um, adopt some of the voice, um, you also might end up adopting enough accents that nobody can realistically play see geographically. <laughs> I, I, see, I, see, I see where you're going with this, because it took us forever to realize what your dialect was. <laughs> oh, you think you've actually figured it out? I am not ready. To, I am not ready to answer that question. I am not ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Signs. It'd be much more fun if you sent it to me in DMs. Mm -mm. <clears throat> You you just want her you just want an excuse to have her in your DMs, Celine. Oh, you say that like she hasn't already slipped into my DMs on a couple of occasions. Fair. <laughs> you should you get you should know me by now, okay? You just <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we don't know no, you at all. What... Know you in what sense, Lexi? <laughs> Oh my, is somebody getting a bonk? <laughs> TBS, this isn't my Wait, stream. What? You can't be bonking me like this, okay? It's, it's, who, who's to say it's even for me? It's not even for me. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> that was too fucking perfect. <laughs> like, I'm you just sitting here minding like my own fucking business, dress. letting y'all go off, and I'm the one that gets bonked. <laughs> Actually, for that. Well, here's the thing. Like, I'm just casually talking to y'all while I'm being murdered in Splatoon. <laughs> uh oh. We got hit again. <laughs> the fuck was that for, Lexi? I'll do because it you bonk me. Lexi. I get to bonk you on your stream. Okay, Valen. Payback. <laughs> oh my, so it's a bonking competition. Now, I wouldn't say... Huh. There goes another one. Oh, there goes gravity. And <laughs> See, I don't have, I don't have the phantom loves. pain with this yet, so that's going to be a while. You're going you're gonna to have to figure out how to train me to get the phantom pain like what you got, Lexi. You, you've yet to experience, like, ph phantom vision or phantom Oh, no, I've, I've experienced phantom pain, but it's going to have to take... It's going to be a while before I get phantom pain related to the bonks. We're going to have to condition him to feel it. 
He's going to feel the Bronx. He will feel them. <laughs> sure, he'll I, feel it. Yet. I think what helps what? me is the fact that um, I have the sound alert a bit louder than some of the other ones. Ah. Uh. So instead of it like gradually getting louder, it just kind of hits you. It kind of hits me hard in, when I have my headphones on. To the point where it's become, uh, it's con I've conditioned myself to the point where I feel some pain. The atmosphere in here when got I hear hella the creepy out, out of nowhere. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Gee, I wonder if that was maybe because of you going yet so many times, <laughs> Look, y'all, y'all like to bonk me, and you know, I I know I made it a redeem, but the thing is, y'all know me by now. It's always gonna be horny hours on main. Exactly, Always. which means, which means that I'll I am do the beer allowed to punk you twenty four seven. Not twenty four seven. I would say I would say twenty four seven, but some of y'all like to hours. put in some overtime. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I have no idea how y'all are. So, well, how about you go subscribe to? Uh, well, subscribe, follow, whichever, to Lexi's stuff and go see her stuff. Appreciate. Thank you for that. Um, I do oh, have a channel. There's probably VOD stuff I can watch. Yeah, I have a channel trailer when you go to my uh when you go to my channel. In fact, there's a shout out for you in chat. I do know you're allowed to like. Say, hey, mods, can I get a shout out so you don't actually have to stop what you're doing? Mm -hmm. There you go, using Road logic. and others often need tone indicators to better understand what they <laughs> oh, no, are trying to portray. I'm sorry, was Please I supposed to, to use, use something tone else? indicators to ensure you are understood. For Bro, since uh, I don't call okay. upon you or Project to do, to do this for me, like, yo, Project, go ahead and give a quick shout out to slash so and so. HJ means mm. half joking. Slash SRS means serious. This is what, this is slash your opportunity. NM means not mad. <laughs> Delegation is an important management skill. Yeah. Strongly encourage everyone to learn it at some point or another. Yeah, I am going to have to learn it. And it's going to be weird, because I'm not used to it. Road, what? everything is weird until you get used to it. best Relatable. stuff is just worth getting used to. Hmm. Why are y'all supposed to learning? At the YMCA. Oh, I've learned many Dusk things. Dusk is an amazing person, adorable bean, and a big cutie slash G slash SRS. Like... <laughs> Thank you, Zelda. Slightly blinking out because of hmm. Zelda recognizing Dusk for the fantastic man he is. <laughs> I approve. <laughs> Cheese and crackers. Well, Zelda. Cheese and crackers? What about cheese and crackers? They're delicious. It does sound like a very simple meal. I recognize cheese, everyone for what they crackers. are. Yeah. Perhaps ah. a little bit of charcuterie Honey along bees. with it. It's like a what? Honeybees. A little bit of deli meat. Mm. Oh. Give me one sec. I'm about to swap over to mobile. Red wine yeah. and finger. <laughs> so, EBS is drifting off into honeybees, red wine, and vinegar. Like, are they just putting down a shopping list for particularly I, I think uh, so. agrarian purposes? Like, oh, yeah, EBS, you do know that note applications exist. You, you don't have to put your shopping list in the chat. Well, maybe that you uh, want to do the shopping list free. for it. <laughs> I, I think DBS needs his uh, Texas speech privileges revoked. <laughs> Perhaps. Well, let's see what DBS the... says about that. Maybe. Since the material's already here, let's see. That's the YMC. What material? Dusk is an amazing person, adorable bean, and a big cutie. Genuine and serious. 
these in crackers. I recognize everyone for what they are. Tiny bees. Honey bees. Red wine and vinegar. Marvel versus Capcom 3. Maybe. <laughs> Hmm. Actually, let's get the darker color for light. Oh, I need to extend. And here you said you were going to make it darker, and I got excited for a moment. And you've got a hydrate road. Oh, thank you. Hydrate or dihydrate? <laughs> I got tea. Oh, what kind of Surround the charming gentleman. And everybody else on the nice job. Just really generic, like, Lipton tea right now. I do have a friend who's going to be sending me, like, I some, be that time some really cool tea. In a bit. Lurk. Mm -hmm. Have a good one, all DBS. Alright, DBS. Have a lovely lurk. We'll yeah. see you all some other time. Yeah. But yeah, I just got, like, j like, really simple Lipton tea right now, but one of my friends back in... My old state is sending me uh, some really special uh, tea, and I'm really hoping to have some of that super soon. Uh, for my purposes, my phone is about to die, so I am going to have to turn chat off for a little bit on my end. Oof. That's Sorry about that. That's all good. I mean, I still got text to speech, so like, it's not like I'm going to be without uh, peanut gallery at my own end. Yeah. Mm, fair, but it makes it harder for me to do administrative tasks, like shouting people out. Yeah. Not that, you know, you rely on your mods for that sort of thing at all. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. You're not sorry in the slightest. Out of my way to come here and try and moderate your chat, and no, everyone's so just well, just so well behaved. And the only shout outs are ones that you plan to do yourself. No warning. <laughs> well, you could shout out yourself, so. Giving a um, shout out yourself is the same as liking your own Facebook status. Yeah. Yeah, it does indicate a certain lack of class. Or liking your own Reddit post. Well, here's no, the thing. Yeah. Your own Reddit post automatically like yourself anyway, so. Oh yeah, I go out of my way to remove that every time because it feels so tacky. I don't want people to know what I think of my post. I'm the one who wrote it. I want to know what other people think. Mm -hmm. I want to see if my jokes landed. If my writing. Oh, so you purposely anyone. dislike your own post. Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. I don't dislike it. I remove the like that it's supposed to automatically give me because I don't need a pity like from myself. That's my life. <laughs> but this isn't about me. It's about Rode and how he treats his mom. <laughs> I'm sorry. To be fair, when it comes to having mods and admins, we we can we kind of have to bull we kind of have to bully the streamer. It's kind of <laughs> how it goes. Just a little bit, yes, because streamers are by nature rather independent people, for the most yeah. part. And breaking them of the habit of doing everything themselves, it takes a little bit. Mm. It's yeah. worth it in the end. After all. You're not doing this as a solo project. You're doing it with the companionship of a number of people. Yeah, that's very true. And I genuinely appreciate your guys' like, support in all this. As like friends hopping in and friends wanting to step in to be moderators and whatnot. Like, it's really appreciated, genuinely. E. Mm-hmm. Well, and remind me again when you're planning the subathon. I believe you've announced it to the community. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's I believe it's be... tomorrow or today. No, it's going to be Friday. Uh, like, this is based on the the day is based on flipping U.S. time, so it's going to be 
Friday, September 30th, starting at noon Eastern. So that would be 11 a.m. early hour. 11 a.m. Central, uh, 10 a.m. Mountain, 9 a.m. Pacific, 8 a.m. Alaska, 7 a.m. Hawaii. Oh, why well, stop there? How do you know these times? Internet. <laughs> Still. Still, you can, you've already committed. you committed to just listing all these time zones, and I'm just like, who, who is this for? Isn't that how the Americans do it? Well, I mean, just like, have all sorts of time zones, and you splurt them out in like, this like, long oh, list time. as you're trying like, to describe what anything is. We have friends in our friend group that are from several different time zones. I don't want to be assuming that like everyone's in the same time zone, so... so yeah. Well, here, here's, here's what I... Two things, Road. Um, okay, and this goes for me saying this because of my server. This is the rules do not apply here, but I'm just going to say it anyway. Mm -hmm. All time revolves around me. <laughs> Central is the one true time zone. Secondly, um, for my friends that are in a different time zone, say in the EU or anywhere in particular, let's say, uh, let's say for Monkey... I always just tell I always just tell her, oh, it's gonna be uh, six whatever time I say, just add six hours to it, and that's the time I'll be streaming. Mm. Central time at UTC minus six right now. <laughs> Central time currently it is one thirty four AM. So therefore where they're located it should be seven thirty four AM. I think I that I think that's just made made, made it easier for those of, for those who are you know in different countries or different time zones. I'll do the math for I'll just do the math for them. Mm. But I think that's kind of how I go about it. Also, it helps with like doing two or if not three time zones that are back to back or close to one another. Fair. But I appreciate you going uh, going the extra mile to look up all these time zones, guys. Yeah. I saw that post. I saw your post earlier. You listed like what ten time zones? Hold up, I'm gonna look this up. How many time zones did you list in that one post? Hold <laughs> up. Best text. It seems to be centering things on U.S. time zones. Mm-hmm. Um. Here we go. Road to dusk. You did a whole post that had. Wait. Did you move this? Wait, where the fuck is it? What what are, what are you looking for? Um. Okay, I think it was it, it, it's an um, uh, an unusual server that dream uh that uh Rhoda and I are in. You posted something. I think it was in the ask. It may it, have been it, it that ask, yeah. You had listed a bunch of time zones saying, hey, looking for people who are willing to stream with me, and here's all the time zones for this particular time frame. And I was thinking, my God, the mad lad just went and just Googled every time zone. Yeah. didn't have to necessarily Google it. If his geography is strong enough, he'll just know which time zone places are in. Very true. I mean, I knew some of that, some of the ones that I listed off of the top of my head, because, like, I have friends in, like, certain areas, such as, like, uh, Japan, Korea, and parts of the UK and Europe. So, I only needed help with, like, being sure that I had uh, locations right for, like, um, Eastern Europe and Central Asia. Yeah. Let's see. I'm not going to be able to rest tonight unless I look up this thing you posted. Oh, hold up. <laughs> ah, here we go. I, ho I hope this is all right. It's a ping. Da -da -da -da. US 
U.S. time zones. You've listed Hawaii, Alaska, Pacific, Mountain, Central, Eastern, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, European time zones, and the British Isles, Central Europe, Eastern Europe, Asian time zones, in uh, in Arabian, I, Iran, Kazakhstan, Bangladesh, India, China, Japan, Korea, Oce- Oceania timelines, AU, Christmas Island, AU Western, AU Central, AU uh, Nor- Norfolk. Uh, Norfolk. Sorry if I butcher that. Uh, Fiji and New Zealand. You've listed every time zone for these. Oh, not Polynesia. I forgot about Polynesia. Yo, you slipping! You're slipping! <laughs> Coming from the one who called me a fucking mad lad. I mean, Virgin am I Islands. right or am I right? Didn't know me and my friends had a place uh, named after false. us. You're terribly unkind, Lexi. Yo, the Just internet is crazy. You. I'm Not sorry. only calling Road out on his own channel, I going know, so far so as to further scold him for not going far enough. Actually, the you know what? I take that back. I'm not... not winning. I take that back, Celine. I'm not sorry at all. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you're not. As a, as a mod, as a moderator, I'm. Yeah, he 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 does these things to me too. <laughs> I don't mean to do it on purpose. Bitch, please. <laughs> it's legit I don't even know you what's happening, so. It is legit just my brain. My brain oh, does a weird charming. thing because it's dopamine. You have nothing to apologize for. You're trying to be inclusive and, yes. you know, generally support the people around you. I think it's an admirable trait. Thank you have you. nothing to apologize for. Hmm. Sorry, I was meaning that as, like, a, like, Still being like apologetic, but more like oh, a jokey yeah. apologetic. Yeah, made an offer to Lexi mm-hmm. in her DMS. <laughs> oh, I'm just deliberately <laughs> taking the piss out of everyone at this point. <laughs> I'm just I'm like jokingly apologize about that. I'm like, okay, maybe that was too much. I'm so sorry. Actually, no, I'm sorry. That actually wasn't enough. That turns <laughs> out. Are you saying not enough sorry or not enough sass? Okay. Not enough again, sass here, sounds you can never great. have enough sass, and we love her for it. I, I mean, it, it's sass, but more emphasis on ass. More, more, more <laughs> yeah. Oh my, so you are looking to the butt of the joke. I, suppose you I found spaghettios. I, I... <laughs> Selini acting like a protective, a protective mom. It's nothing. kind of funny seeing as I don't know that <laughs> That's okay. Happened. We're all well aware of your cheekiness. But... <laughs> okay, that Question. was cute. Mm-hmm. Mm, but not as Do you guys too. remember, um... One shot? Wait, what? Oh, one the shot. video game one, one shot. shot, like the one where it makes it impossible to play through a second time. Yeah. But... I think I'm familiar. I've heard of it, but I've been meaning to play it blind when I do get around to playing it. The what? It's in keeping with the spirit of the game. Yeah, that's understandable. Shall I drop off for a it's bit like, so how... we can discuss it? Hmm? So I drop off for a bit for you so you can discuss it. No, I just found somebody in the, in Splatoon who literally drew, drew the character from One Shot. Nice. Same booyah. I've never heard of this game. Very cute. Alright, Hurricane uh, Ian is hitting the US. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got a few uh, friends who are in the crossfires of it. Same. Oh, yikes. Is it a terribly bad one? Yeah, when it um, got it's to like, the landfall, it's it... like a... Category 4. Yes, yeah, I was going to say, isn't it like Category 4? Yep. Yeah, it became a Category 4 just before it got to landfall, but it's still pretty strong, so it's probably going to be running through for a while. And it already did a lot of damage to Puerto Rico. 
I'm very sorry to hear Yeah, that. I've heard like a decent amount on it. Is there anything we can do to help out? Not that I know of. I don't have anyone who lives in Puerto Rico, but I I wouldn't be surprised if there's folks in our community that do. So I guess the biggest thing would be to just be prepared if you have the funds to, to help support folks in the community who need the support right now to get back on their feet after this. Imagine living on the East Coast. Oh. It's hard to hear it. I have no idea where to direct this from here. You're, it's all good. I'm just focusing also on trying to get the... Y'all should hold streams to raise money to help PPL being affected by UT. That, that would be cool. Like, having a collab stream to, like, uh, raise money f for, for, like, a charity thing, that would be, that would be really cool, actually. It feels weird, it, you know, the, it's weird, isn't it? Because I would be down to do something like this as well, but it feels weird to be talking about it as if, like, it's already happened while right. it's still in the process of it. Like, th th no offense to anyone here, I just think it's kind of, like, It, it feels you know, cheap, I, I get it. But at the same time, though, of us. But at the same time, I feel as also, a, like I mean, kind of, yeah. But at the same time, I feel it's still a necessary thing to address right. when said thing is over. Yeah. Also, this is just from my experience. What? Um, Nuggies. As a person that, as a person that lives in a hurricane in a hurricane state, you'd be surprised how unfortunately accustomed we are to this to the point where i will see people still traversing through high Sorry, waters to get from to point a to yet. point b was like it's just another year for topic. us mm. but that's just me i can't I, I can't speak for on behalf of everyone that's in the direct route of this particular hurricane but you know i as a, as a texan we've We've endured so uh, so much of, in hurricane season that uh, some people just kind of see it as like a normal thing. And I find that to be very, I, I find that both to be like, how terrible, but also like, it's, good for it's, us. That we... Right. It's also um, <laughs> like very, in a way, it's, it's um because I, I can empathize with that being raised in the Midwest like uh, tornado tornadoes were very heavily normalized with well, at least normalized for the culture I still really don't quite get why Midwesterners are so normalized to tornadoes and like I I get it it's like oh yeah nature happens but it's like that that still that still shouldn't stop us from acknowledging the uh, the the trauma and the and the the shock and fear that can come from natural disasters and how much more prepared not only like communities need to be but how much more prepared um, like state governments and all that jazz need to be prepared to help people during these times. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yes and no. So somebody that I have a fairly close relationship with and who I still respect quite a lot uh, worked for, uh, I think it's called the Federal Emergency Management Association, uh, FEMA. Um, so in the US, that is an organization that goes around and helps with disaster recoveries. And the way he described it is when you're in the city center, a lot of the um, the traditionally low economic areas, mm. um, you, you tend to find people are looking for whatever they can get. Um, and that really doesn't have as much to do with the emergency as the fact that there just isn't enough to go around on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, yeah. And as you get into some of the more uh, rural areas, people tend to say, look, 
we got this. We deal with this every year. But uh, I need you to get off my property now and don't come back without a warrant. Mm. And, uh, you know, the, the joke amongst uh, the more rural folk would be, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Um, and then help ending until after it's no longer helpful. Yeah, no, um, that, that is true. So, I don't know. But having never had cause to head to a hurricane-affected area, you know, not to put myself on too finely a point geographically, mm. I think there is a little bit of a finite area that hurricanes affect. Mm. Um, or cyclones, however you want to say it. Um, it. Ultimately, it's not something that I have enough experience with to quantify, and I'm sure for some people hearing that, oh, you've got a uh, snowfall of, uh, you know, two, two and a half meters, and it's been dropping down below minus 20 Celsius, well, you know, sometimes you just have weather occurrences and you're already prepared for it. Right. So, it is fair that it might look messy, but it's honestly just part of the environment. I don't know. Hmm. No, that that's a fair point. Mm hmm Again, two and a half meters of snow in Texas sounds like a reason for their uh, senator to take a trip to Cancun. Yep. Blame it on his daughters. Yep. Oh, this this might be cutting a little too close. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was like. Last year, like, a bunch of snow was going into Texas, and Texas was nowhere close in compared to it. Mm. Uh, I want to add on to it, but I don't want to... I think it was last year. I think it was... Was it a year? Uh -huh. Or was it a year A year or a year and a half ago, but basically, um, it got to the point where I was... We were trapped in our own house, and I was literally chopping up... Um, wooden pallets for for just to keep us warm. Hey. God damn. Oh, oh my. Yes, monkey. Wanna... Have a monkey, Mallow. Monkey. Hi, also, monkey. I thought it got snowed on twice. Guys. Lexi, do you want us to change the subject? Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to go. I'm, I'm only going to leave it at that. I'm not going to get into the whole details of it. Mm. Guys. Not here. I'm here with a subject change. Meow. The monkey. What's up, monkey? Do you guys know the Try Guys? Yes, yes. No. Oh, I know where you're going with oh, this. Ned Lord. Fulmer um, cheated on his wife. Woo, and he's woo, been, woo. like, fired from the Try Guys because he cheated on his wife with an employee. Uh, yeah, I'm confused. Yeah. What? Uh, so the Try Guys I just watched is, a video on that. Yeah, the Try Guys uh, is a popular... Uh, YouTube. YouTube channel people. Yeah. But they used to be on BuzzFeed. Um, but the thing is, is that this man built his entire reputation that on the fucking too. fact that he was a wife guy. Like, he loved his he wife. Loved his he wife. had a family. He loved wife. his family. Um, like, that was his whole thing, right? And Apparently, this isn't just new. Apparently, they've been um, going out, like, they've been, been cheating for, for like, a year. year. But not just that, but apparently, like, around last year, on the last tour, uh, he was being creepy to girls in bars. Oh, my God. Ooh, trying wow. to kiss on yes. them and stuff. Wow. Yeah, I didn't and so... He loves his children, and he loves his mistress very much. First John, right? first John Mulaney with, like, if I if I had a nickel for every time a, a cis man <laughs> who prided himself on his wholesomeness and fidelity cheated on his wife, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, which but it's ironic how it's happened it's twice. It's happened two <laughs> times. Oh no, it happens all the time. Purity circles tend to have rather strong appetites to mm, an embarrassing yeah. degree. And but this oh stuff my just god, it, like yeah, it just and creepy stuff. Oh like, yeah, this is like super, super new news. I mean, this is... yeah, it came out like yesterday. And this but is why. Is, like, we apparently, said... yesterday. 
the that information be has been yeah. out the bar for a year though he's been like creeping on girls in bars whenever they've been on tour though that's been out for a year but nobody believed it because it only came from like two or three people on reddit like randomly um because like you know they met him in the bar and he, he was being creepy you know what i mean mm -hmm. yeah i mean he wasn't like i mean like you know they he bought some girls some drinks and then like tried to dance with them too close and shit and so they were like no and then he was like oh and they were like aha you're married and he went aha oh well you know that kind of creepy not like the forceful kind of creepy but it's no. still creepy not like, not like the a, way not like a predatory, that. but more like a sleazy. Yeah, I like yeah. The, you describe Bro, that because it makes you well, it makes me want to ask her to like, can you just do a recap of a, of like a certain event and it's gonna <laughs> sound like that? Because I'm like, yo, <laughs> recap, recap the conversation between mm. you know this event and I want to hear it like that. Right. I'll like the honest. thing is, My is yeah, that, like yeah. she was talking he, about some other thing called a bar, and he has two babies. One's under like three, and the other one's like under five or something, right? Mm -hmm. With with his wife, and they have multiple brands together. Um. And 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 she comes out with, "Thank you so much for everyone who like came that, out to, uh, to ask me how I am." Um, we're asking for privacy for the sake of, uh, our family. And he comes out with, uh, yes, I had a consensual workplace relationship. Uh, yes. I'm no longer employed. <laughs> I should like have been focused like on my family. He straight up confessed. <laughs> yeah, he straight up confessed, but he also didn't say, like, he's sorry or, 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 or I, well, I mean, I think he did, but it was, it was like a, I'm sorry I got caught, <laughs> where hers was, thank you, uh, I don't know what to do yet. <laughs> Slash well, but I want to be like it's a crime or anything, isn't it? No, 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 like, but, um, he, so he, it, it, it's, it's America, but, um, it was particularly bad because he was her, the, her boss, mm. the person he cheated on his wife with. So he had oh. to be ousted from the company, uh, so that the, that they wouldn't get sued. Yeah, because what was going on? There's actual lawsuits for like improper work conduct, including workplace relationships. Uh. Yeah. Um, is... And the thing is, is that they can't fire her now, uh, even if they wanted to, uh, for a while, unless they have other reasoning than she was caught cheating with one of the bosses. Right. So like if she set a fire in the break room, that would oh, be yeah. enough to get her canned. But yeah, uh, but they like can't just be like, "Hey, we'd like you to part ways with us now." Uh, yeah, you know, we, because she can turn around and say, "This is because of this person." Blah blah blah. You owe me a bunch of money, or 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 I'll sue you. You know. Uh, thanks, Zelda. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, thank you, Zelda. Sorry, and the I, thing is, she was... I turned Texas she, speech off because people were talking. She was in a relationship. Don't worry, I got you. Herself. Mm. She was about to get married. <laughs> this this woman. So mm. he's been in, married for like a really long time to his wife. But, but um, uh, like they've been together for like even longer than that and this girl who is about to get married to uh, her fiance they've been married to, they've been together for like ten and a half years before they got engaged so like they both fucked up real hard like these were not casual things like they mm. knew exactly what they were putting out on stake well, regardless of the face that they put on for cameras, it could mm. just be that they've had kind of these healthy agreements going on. Mm. I don't know. I don't well, know these people, and I don't that know that would be great lives, but... if it w if it was a healthy agreement between all of them. Uh, there wouldn't be so much backlash happening right now. Yeah. 
I wonder about that though, because like clearly they've got a very specific market that they're targeting with their uh, material that they're putting out, right? Um, and so you'd have to worry about appearances. Well, only him specifically, but uh, they've had open conversations about like uh, how they are. Like again, this man, like his whole thing is his relationship. Like, they've talked about it way before. Like, they've even done uh, those kinds of tours. Like, they have a relationship book out. They have, um, they have, <gasps> they have all this kind of shit out. Like, they, they went on, like, seminar tours and stuff. Like, they are not non-monogamous. They are monogamous. And that's what they were, had agreed to. That's what they were doing. That's what they were preaching. That kind of shit. Mm -hmm. And so, like... Even if they okay. did have some kind of, like, side thing, uh, it wouldn't be this bad of a fallout if if he hadn't marketed himself that much. And the thing is, the other Try Guys haven't done that. Like, one of them's the Asian gay drunk disaster, you know? No, Asian gay Texas drunk disaster. There we go. <laughs> you know, oh, okay. Eugene, though. Eugene, totally. Um... And then one of them is Zach, the uh Did he one say it's, uh oh no, it's yeah. not a book, this is about a flop down hard. What? Uh DPS. Yeah. Oh right, yeah. Yeah, chat. Yeah, sorry, yeah. I have text to speech off right now because no, like okay. we're we're in a pretty deep conversation. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm watching chat for y'all, so thank yeah. you. But do you get what I mean? Like it's it's yeah, it's creepy, is what it is, one way or another. Mm. It's insane because nobody expected it, and then there are other people who are like, it's not an open secret, and then <laughs> but the entire internet was like. What? <laughs> I mean, some people have also, like, said, like, that they knew that, like, there were signs that, like, uh, the one member of the team was not going to be there for much longer because people were noticing that, like, he was getting cropped out of pictures. He wasn't yeah. in as many videos, if any at all. And this has been going on for months. Like, this slow um, but also quick at the same time erasure of his image from the Try Guys brand and then it culminates to today slash yesterday. Yeah, I think the last time I saw him in a video was... One month ago. Because the thing is, is I didn't really give it much thought as to why he wasn't in some of the videos. Because Eugene has been in, like, not some of the videos. And that's because he, he's off doing stuff. Sometimes they would explain it at the beginning of the video. Oh, Eugene isn't here because of this reason. Other times they just wouldn't. They would forget to, you know? Right. And then, and then Eugene would be back in again. And the thing is, is that, like... I can't believe people, like, randomly noticed Ned not being there without an explanation, but they, like, they didn't, like, come to the same conclusion. Never as, addressed or it. do the same, yeah, do the same deep dive as, like, Eugene, but, um, I suppose they could have assumed that these videos were all filmed within the same time span, and therefore Eugene was still just not there. Right. <laughs> you know? Hmm. But, uh, anyway... It's just one of those things of, like, I never given any thought. The whole of the other parts of the internet did. <laughs> yeah. It's insane, though. Mm -hmm. Alright, now it's... I really am going to sleep because uh, I was meant to go to sleep earlier and then I heard about this and then I didn't go to sleep, but I watched several videos on it. <laughs> the monkey goes to sleep. Oh. <laughs> okay. And then he came over here because you noticed that people were hanging around with the uh, road then? Or? No, I came over here because I needed to tell you guys. <laughs> <laughs> she had Fair the enough. spoken to you. 
Road, but how long are you planning to be on this yet? Uh, I just want to keep going with this until I'm done. Um, so... Bye. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. Monkey, That's have a lovely thing. night. Thank you so much I will. For Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Yeah. also says good night, too. Good night. Good night, yes. Yo, shout out. Oh, yes. Oh, oh man, thank you for the hydrate and stretchies. <laughs> yeah. We hit the three hour mark. Three hours, let's go. This is only, you see this in time. Is only one fourth of how long I'm going to be doing shit on Friday. So, 12 hour stream? Yeah, my donathon's going to be a 12 hour. I believe. Bad. Yeah. Thank you, Celine. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing what I can, you know. I mean, 12 mm. hours spent goofing off with friends doesn't really seem like a long time until you've been in the thick of it for about 15. Mm. <laughs> then again, like, we've been on this drawing for three hours, so it a fourth of what the subathon is going to be, so. Uh, I mean, the subathon is going to be like a combo of drawing and gaming and other bits, so it's not like I'm going to be drawing 20, like, the whole entire time. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying, like, we've been on here for three hours, which would be around a fourth of the entire stream, so. Yeah, yeah. I've been on here for three hours on accident. <laughs> I haven't yeah, been you, like, supposed to work around here. I was supposed to be at work. <laughs> yeah. And after a certain point, it's like, well, I'm not getting a damn thing done anyway, so right. I may as well drop in and uh, make a Spanish Inquisition joke. <laughs> and Lexi called me back, and it's like, oh, I guess I'm doing this for the night. Yeah, and I've been on for the past three, four streams. Yeah, oh, it's just really letting nice create a road Bunny, honestly. Oh yeah. So, well, no, Bunny and I, I know each other because we met in a different mutual server, which is very much NSFW. Yeah, very much. Oh, and here I was going to ask you to plug that server at some point. Oh well. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, if you ever join in, you're never gonna stop. <laughs> you're never gonna stop teasing us with it. I mean, in fairness, so, you assumed that I would ever stop teasing you to begin with. Well, you don't know anything about me, so ha! You can't tease me yet. Challenge accepted. Oh <laughs> trying to challenge me here in public. Yeah, Celine. Oh, here the. Celine here is an authoress. She's an authoress. She, as an author, she knows how to read through, read in between the lines, and figure out how people actually tick. Figure out the foreshadowing <laughs> before before you even figure it out. Don't fuck with her. That's amazing. <laughs> yo, yo, I can play flirt all day, honestly. So. I have no doubt you have the stamina for it. <laughs> Give that impression oh, I, quite clearly. I definitely can. But let's not do it on stream. Mm, I see. You had another indication you should stay in my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends who is going to go for it first. <laughs> I, I was I like, heard someone's dying. I was like, what the fuck was that? I'm not dying. Oh, that was a stretch. It's the Ethan's. And yes, Debbie. Well, it's not books necessarily. I mean, that's plural books, and uh, I've written a few short stories. But um, I do post a fair amount on uh, my Reddit. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, I suppose we could talk about it. But uh, it seems all that worth mentioning. 
DP, you're also not going to know about the server either, so, huh. Well, in fairness, I didn't actually ask you about the server. I really pointed really? out that I was going to ask about it, and then I found out the subject matter, you saucy fellow. <laughs> DPS, what on Wait. earth would you want to learn from me? I'm assuming how to write books, but it's just well, an assumption. I mean, I don't know why you pick me of all people. There are plenty of accomplished authors who have written extensively on the subject. Um, things I guess I could teach you. Um, it's important to definitely have read a fair amount of material to understand what different authors have used, why it works, as well as what works, um, and decide where that fits into your own voice. They're also not going to find your own voice just from imitating others. Um, the other trick is that you do have to eventually just start putting things down. Um, one of the things that I'm quite fond of is Reddit's uh, writing prompts uh, subreddit. Uh, and the... Oh, for goodness sake. Do, Ro, do you want me to drop like a um, link or something to my Reddit in case people want to read the nonsense and drivel that I've written? Uh, sure. And I would say, actually, considering you are a, um, you are a mod for my, um, for like my Discord stuff, do you want to be an honorary mod admin or, well, actually, I would want I don't have an admin right now. Do you want the responsibility of admin? Because then you would have the permission to put uh, an introduction for yourself in the owner modmin intros, and you can put your Reddit in there. I mean, Rhodes, you've seen how busy I am. Do, do you really think that's a good idea? Okay, that is fair. Okay. Um, I mean, so, I mean, like, I've known some people who don't actually do anything with their admins, and yeah. so if, if it's not actually a time commitment, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, there is a self-promo self area, so you can use that if you want to put your Reddit info there. Well, heck, I think I've got my Reddit linked on my profile here in uh, Discord, so anybody who can see mm -hmm. your chat or who can find me inside of... Uh, one of the chats on your Discord should be able to see it. Mm. Uh, Lexi, would you mind confirming this for me real quick here, since you can probably see there? Yes, I, I, I um, basically just, if you click on Celine's, um icon, it will give you their description, and it should have a couple of links to their Reddit and other socials that they've uh, enabled. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if you want my Reddit, uh, the most healthy way is probably to stalk me through Discord. Which, actually, since you mentioned the Discord, uh, Celine, could you do the, uh, the little bot thing for the Discord link? I can figure out how to spell, sure. <laughs> hey, Road, I'm probably gonna have to head out now because I think I'm starting to get sleepy. No, you're Just good, hon. Yeah, 2 a.m. Sleep well in pleasant dreams, Lexi. Yeah, Let me know tomorrow. if you need a bedtime <laughs> story later. Thanks, everyone. I really, I always enjoy vibing with y'all. You enjoy the rest of your stream, and uh, I look forward to your. Uh, your subathon. Hell yeah. It's a subathon, not a donation thon, right? No, it's a donathon. Donathon. Okay. Wanna make sure I got that right. Can't wait for the donathon on Friday. And uh, yeah, I'll bug y'all later. Hell yeah. Have a good we'll one. See you then. Bye. <laughs> see Bye. you later. Bye. Such a cutie. She is. I have no idea who the person is, so it needs some time. <laughs> yeah. No, you're good. No idea who which person is? Uh, I think Bunny is talking about Lexi? Yes, the one that just left. Yeah. Uh, Le Lexi is yeah. a really nice person. Very 
very, very sassy, but we, we love her for her sass. Mm. I'd imagine there's quite a bit more than just her sass that you love about her. But I mean, that she might is be. also incredibly like kind and empathetic. Well, yes, and driven, organized. Mm. There's plenty to enjoy about the woman. Oh, yeah. And do you have any other socials that we should shout out while we're on the subject of uh, promoting you in all other places? Um, Within, like, a Twitter or... Well, I don't have um, info things for my Twitter yet, but I do have... If you do um, explanation point don't know, um, people will actually have access to the uh, to the information for the schedule. No, only I believe only moderators and myself can do the explanation point don't know. Um, well, it certainly worked when I did it. Well, nice. But, I mean, moderator. So. Yeah. <laughs> Um, at any rate, did you turn the text-to-speech back on? Nope, oh. uh, but it is on now. All right, All right. Well, because here I was going to point out that DBS, uh, DBS had said, Lexi is a cool ass yeah, I can't person. activate it. So. And more than likely, would not be doing half the shit I want to do if not for her help. Just being a cool ass friend in person. Mm -hmm. Which is wonderful, so thank you for sharing that with us, DBS. Yeah. And yeah, now for the text-to-speech, so I use a website called uh, Speech Chat, so I'm the only one that has access to, like, turn it on and off. Well, that's also good to know. Bruh, I thought your wish list just had a whole ass TV on it, lol slash J. Wait, what? I didn't realize that you had a wish list here. Not on coffee, but I have one on my throne. You have a throne, and you don't have a shout out for it. No, I do not. <sighs> it's on Road. throne. We are I setting got, up I a small meeting to make sure. On, on my flipping, um... Pro, like info on my on the Discord server. I was just looking to look. Lol. Well, I'm you and I need already. to sit. You and I need to sit down and go over exactly what you want to have these shoutouts for. <laughs> Honestly, maybe. maybe. There's no maybes about it, Mister. It's when are we doing this? I guess Damn af after stream. Maybe? Man's got a throne. Does that mean he's a king? I'm already confused. Yes, Zelda, so. Of course he's a king. All men are kings. <laughs> Unless they're sexist and confused. transphobic or anything like that, then they're bullshit. That that's not a king. <laughs> you can be a terrible king and still a king. Eh, okay, fair. King who ought to be disp deposed. Tyrannical ruler. If he breaths, he's a shrimp. <laughs> I'm a commoner. Oh, Zelda. Don't underestimate yourself. There's far more that you can do than you have ever been aware of. <laughs> Sorry, I keep talking over you, Bunny. What were you saying? Bunny, I'm, an angel I'm just who confused. Fell from heaven for the sea of ice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what has you confused? Just everything. <laughs> the, this everything. is this is the environment. It is wholesome, but also horny, but also chaotic. Like there there is no <laughs> in between of any of these. There is only spectrum like, and occasional fluctuation. Like, here's the thing, like, I'm usually a quiet person, so. Hmm. Whenever, yeah. like, someone talks, I usually just quiet myself. Yeah, yeah. If there's ever a point where you get, like, overstimulated, like, feel, like, there's nothing wrong with stepping out of the voice chat to 
take a break. Nah, I'm pretty good. Okay. Like, I'm, like, here's the thing. Like, I, like, do pretty well. It's like, not overstimulating myself. Mm. Hey, it's Rose, just like, can I talk to you about I'm not something good DMS at after stream. organizing. Oh, that's myself, why you keep people so. around you who can organize you. Mm. Also, yeah, that's mm. totally fine, DBS. Um, DM me uh, whatever, and I'll check it out after stream. But here's the thing, I don't have many people. Well, fortunately, bet, that's bet. a problem it that solves itself so over time, worry, as long I... as you're not driving okay. folk off. Thanks for telling me it ain't what? Sorry, I got two conversations going on at once. Sorry, I just so... confused what they were talking about. Oh, DBS uh, was asking it's... me... Sorry, Celine. Well, I was going to say, it's nothing that directly concerns us. Mm. It's probably best yeah. to let that lie in private and continue it on as though we didn't hear anything. In the words of the penguins from Madagascar, you didn't see anything. <laughs> that's, just, that, that's just like, just a fun thing. What other quotes are there? Bean. From the Madagascar penguins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, they should have, like, some pretty good quotes. Uh, should have really nice teeth? Blosky, status. That's, that's, like, almost every single time they pop up. Yeah. Oh, oh shoot, what was the, um, the innocent one? No. Oh. Oh, you're mean about the the one that that um does everything for King Julian, right? Private. No, no, no. I'm talking about um. I'm talking about the penguins. Uh, the I know it's like a innocent penguin. Um. I mean, I know this isn't innocent, but the only one that's coming to oh, my is head it... is like the Kevin... oh private. That's what it is. Hmm? Private is the one he means. Is it private? Oh, private! I think, uh, Kios Kowalski, ah, uh, English, is the smart one. But then Skipper is the head. And then, who was... Who's the dumb one? Yeah. Also, was... like, very hard-headed. Yeah, what was... Yeah, what was the name of the one that liked the explosives? He was real innocent. Rico, I believe Rico! his name was. Rico, that's what it is. Man, like, doesn't Rico, like, constantly ask if he can go boom? Yep, he goes, go boom. Like Private is innocent, and Rico belonged in a mental hospital. Yeah. Yeah. And then Skipper's like, no kaboom. We 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 appreciate Rico though. Honestly, yeah. Mental hospital though. I don't think they normally put penguins in mental hospitals. Yeah, that is true. Perhaps a zoo. And again, be more fitting. I was gonna say, I was say that again it is a cartoon. So yeah. How dare you bring the fact that it isn't bound by the rules of logic into our conversation? <laughs> I mean, it's only pertinent ah. information. What were you thinking? Ah, uh, this is why I just bring real reality. Mm. Oh, honey, putting yourself to reality is so. Uh... Don't you right. want to be free? I'm already confused. <laughs> you should be. 
<laughs> it's perfectly fitting, given I'm not making much for sense right now. Is it because you're tired? No, although I certainly am, uh, as anyone who's paid close attention to my accent can tell you. Uh, no, no, I'm simply not making sense, because making sense is highly overrated. And I don't really feel like making sense right now, it's too much effort. That is a mood. Mm. That is understandable. I am many moods, Road. It's in several at once, <laughs> if I'm doing it right. Mm. Mm. But I just play games a lot, so... <laughs> what makes you think I'm not playing a game with you right now? Oh my. Uh, what would the game be called? Hmm, I don't know. I'm not really big on labels. Hmm. Well, sometimes putting a label on it, it's fun. If you like the thing, sure to put a ring on it. Like, sure, you could put, like, a nice, mysterious spin to it. So I think even the title gives it some spice to it. The game is called Uno. Mm, <laughs> the title is spicy enough, I suppose. The DBS game. thinks the game is called Uno. <laughs> well, I suppose that means you're trying to get all your cards on the table, aren't you? Mm, I'm not really sure I'm playing Uno. Sounds like you're trying to play hard to fucking get. <laughs> mm, depends on the cards. And DBS is thinking that maybe it's Blackjack instead. <laughs> and if you take it at face value, I suppose. True, you could face it. Mm, face value. Face, often need tone face to face is face value. Yes, I do English well. It'll all Please add remember up, to don't use worry. tone indicators to ensure you are understood. For example, I'm sure tonight slash won't be a bus after all tone. of this. Slash J means joking tone. Oh no, DBS thinks it's half poker. Joking. Slash SRS means sure serious. Not going to be slash NM means, means not mad. Sitting. No, no poker, it's always poker. Dusk is an amazing person, adorable bean, and a big cutie slash G Such slash Such genuine SRS. support for Dusk. Zelda, I'm proud of you. Thank you, you can Zelda. Do I was waiting for the text-to-speech to finish its thing. True. Oh, but let's be Text-to-speech doesn't have feelings, and if we talk over cards, it, it's not going matters. to complain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. DBS wants us to believe in the heart of the cards. The game never matters. Oh, so is this whose line now? Huh? What? Whose line is it anyway? Oh. <laughs> no, I know what you're talking about, but I figured that was a Yu-Gi-Oh reference, not a Whose Line reference. I, I know, I wanted to throw you off on purpose, and I succeeded. <laughs> you succeeded through nonsense. Yeah, and? Was that- did I not say that was exactly my point? The point was ill-gained just as easily lost. And <laughs> since the points don't matter, I suppose I'll be giving them to Bun instead. <laughs> well, that would be interesting, though, to get a whole bunch of folk together and do a proper who's line with everyone here. That would be fun, but that we might have to have a different name for it because copyright. Well, trademark in this I case. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, DBS, Whose Line Is It Anyway, is a British, and I think there's an American version of it as well. Yes, uh, there's an American show. And what they do is they take Who's a series of four folks and uh, have them set up as essentially a cast for a series of improv games. Maybe y'all could call it that. And uh, the, the, at the end of each round, points are awarded. And the points have absolutely no bearing on anything. They're completely made up by the host. And at the end, the person who has the most points is sometimes told to do something uh, rather silly when reading out the credits. Mm. 
Or other times it can be that other people have to do something while the winner is able to sit pretty. Ah, okay, okay. True. Maybe which fellow anyway, said that Anyway, we could certainly thing. just call it an improv night. Sounds I don't fun. think that's uh, outside the realm of possibility. Oh, true. That is true. It's very true. Also, can you get this hear me real quick? Yeah, you're just uh, kind of muffled. Yeah, it's just my headset just died for a bit, and... Yeah. <laughs> uh... You're fine, Derry. Reasonably audible. It probably will die soon again. Okay. I just put it on its charger for a bit, so. Okie dokie. Uh, well, thanks I for think. the heads up. Mm. I'm gonna sell my face to Disney for a billion dollars. Mm. I would not touch mm. Disney. But personally, I, I wouldn't touch it. Um, uh, yeah, no. Once Disney gets your face, you'll no. never leave Disney. Basically, because, like, this needs like having an, an entire database of every single face of their actors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh no, I honestly I would like to see Disney broken up and any of its IPs over twenty years old released into the public domain. That would be awesome. It would. It'd be one of the what, biggest trust-busting wins in the last two centuries. Also, what was that, buddy? Like, what IPs would not be over 20? Or would be over 20? Oh, uh, well... But I... <sighs> Little Mermaid, for one. Yeah, Little Mermaid... Oh, anything prior to the year 2000. Yeah, basically. So their rendition of basically all Disney princesses... Including what several IP that would probably do though? count as original. Uh, I believe there was a princess the for the Atlantis movies. Yes, uh, was made that whole Atlantis cloth. The Lost Empire came out in 2002, so this would be the perfect time if, like, if like the 20 year thing, like this would be a perfect time to where, um, it, the story of Atlantis and whatnot, uh, especially in relation to like what Disney did, would be part of the public domain. Um, but in terms of what IP specifically I would want to see released, um, so the first one that I want to see released is honestly Mickey Mouse. Um, the character himself has been a major part of popular culture for the last several decades, and we've seen almost nothing creatively done with the mouse outside of very clear and unfortunately often quite raunchy parody and the occasional uh very close to but not actually uh quite copyright infringing do you imagine if the mouse were instead allowed to compete in something like smash or if we had uh mickey mouse available as some kind of character that we could expand upon mm. But, unfortunately, it is very carefully and very aggressively controlled. It would also be nice to see daycares and other uh, facilities that are intended for children to have Mickey Mouse emblazoned upon the walls. Uh, the other big property, and this is uh, not something that is specifically Disney, but that Disney now owns, is the Marvel characters. Basically, every Marvel property, including Spider-Man, uh, is very heavily contested by Disney and very carefully locked down by the company. Mm. And don't get me wrong, they've done some pretty solid things with it. But they've also shied away Sony from some very heavily coded and implied things because they're Disney. Mm. And they can't just fucking make it gay. Sorry for the... Uh, cursing on your stream. Oh, you're fine. Right? It's 18 plus. Like, uh, you can curse whatever. And DBS, Sony does not own Spidey, but they have an ongoing license to use Spider-Man in feature films as a result of a contract that was signed prior to Marvel being acquired by Disney. So, Sony doesn't actually own Spidey. 
but they have the right to use Spidey for a pretty significant chunk of time here, and Disney wants very badly to end that. Mm. I personally don't see a lot of benefit one way or the other, but letting these superheroes properly pass into the public domain allows us to start using them in new and creative ways. And I, I think that's something that's actually good, mm. especially since we've got some characters who are just getting to that 20-year mark that would be pretty cool to have access to. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Carol Danvers as Captain Marvel could actually be a pretty empowering figure, and it would be nice to see her and her cat be part of a reasonable lesbian relationship with the young girl and her single mother that are living in her house. Yeah. As one example. Um... No, but there's there's a lot of things out there that we could really have some Even interesting if stories with. If Sony we just merch let go of the idea well that rough gallery. IP should have this kind of almost perpetuity to it. So yes, DBS, Sony very specifically has the option of doing some things, but I mean. Honestly, can you say that they're doing a better job than Road could do? Wait, what? Do you think that I... Do you honestly think <laughs> that you couldn't do something fun with Spider-Man if you had a decent writer and some sort of a editorial team to back you up? Ideally, like on paper, yes. Superman Realistically, no. I DC's really don't judges. jive with American superheroes. Fair enough. Oh, we all could. Oh, yeah, Superman becoming something other than DCs would also be nice. Mm -hmm. Though, honestly, I do like some of the stuff that DC's been doing lately. The fact remains, leaving IP in a single company's hand for over a decade doesn't do anyone justice. Right, because it also... It, it artistically monopolizes the the cre the creativity and ability to create content based on something it really stifles what art and content and media is ideally supposed to be it's about like creation and diversity the other problem is also barriers to entry so the movie it's a wonderful world actually flopped so hard that it landed in the public domain it's a wonderful life, sorry. Um, flopped so hard that it landed in the public domain. After being shown on cut-rate television networks for the better part of three decades, it became entrenched for to use to in try people's and understanding of what a boomer people. Christmas is supposed to look like. And as a result, we've started to see that the movie itself has gained not just a cult following, but significant influence. Mm-hmm. And yet, it would not have done any of that if the copyright had been renewed. Yeah. Oh yes, Miles Morales being actually black instead of being basically blackface on a poor white kid. Yeah. In fairness, though, my well, son does love Miles Morales as Spider-Man. Uh, I'm wondering, is there a fighting game? A fighting what? Of any Disney characters? Um, if you count Marvel vs. Capcom, there is. Um, and let's see. I think there was one, but I can't remember if that was a fan game or not. Uh, when I saw that, it was back in the mid-90s? And so it's a little hard for me to say at this point, you know, over 25 years later, but, uh, one way or the other there. Right. Yeah. Like, I'm wondering, like, we got, like, all these different, like, IPs, like, getting into, like, a fighting style. Like, we got Smash with Nintendo. We got Multiverse with the Marvel and some other characters. The Warner the Brothers. Yes. Yeah. Yes, the Warner Brothers. And I'm wondering, like, if DC, if not DC, um, if Disney, Disney did a fighting game. 
Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I would rather relish the chance to take Goofy and Donald and beat the ever living tar out of them with Ganondorf. <laughs> <laughs> Like, no, just, just do it with uh, us. voices on. haunted portions of my childhood. And just the raw oh, no. catharsis of treating them to a few warlock punches to the face. Is it? Is it because of Kingdom Hearts 3? No. Looks like it's really no, yet. Kingdom Hearts 3 didn't come out until I was, like, already through undergrad, if I'm remembering right. Yeah, um, Kingdom Hearts 3 Have came out 20... Have you seen the new stories they did with him? Some of those were just so bad. I know that's pretty recent. Oh, oh, yeah, wow. Also, yes, no, he is good, but he could be better yeah, no. years by then. Like how Static Shock was when he came out. And beating Donald as a real wizard would be funny as fuck. Yeah, because I know, like, 3 did not come out until, like, much later on. Yeah, no, 3 because, didn't like, come out until it was 2018. One... Yeah, because it was 1... And then two. And then all these other games between two and three. It was Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, and then it got a remaster for Kingdom Hearts Re Chain of Memories on the PS2. Then Kingdom Hearts Recoded, then 358Ds over two, then Dream Drop Distance, and that's excluding uh, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Which, so, if I remember correctly, that is an online? That was the. KH3 came that was out the in 2019. Game. Punch oh, the mobile game. I know there was one 90s, that was like an online game. Throughout the 90s, Disney did release several short uh, animations that included KH2 their core cast of characters. And those things were pervasive enough on the airwaves that I still saw them even with my limited access to television growing up. Mm. And as a result, those voices, those Horrible voices seared into my memory in ways that I How can't... How bad were they? Hmm? Okay. How bad were the voices? Well, in fairness, Kingdom Hearts mostly does them justice. Donald is a little more tolerable because he is completely incomprehensible in the games. But they weren't significantly better anywhere else. And I would say if you take the nostalgia glasses off, you'll see very quickly voices for Donald and Goofy are just miserable. Yeah. They are grating, they are cloying, they are difficult to understand. I mean, you practically need subtitles for these characters. And they, they're speaking well, a language like Donald that I'm moderately proficient with. Yeah, like, Donald Duck is much more hard to understand because he has that, like, was it Lisp or something? Yeah, and that's kind of like the, the, the kind of joke of it, of like, oh yeah, you can't understand Donald. Especially because of his, of his anger management issues. Ha ha, look at the funny duck. But I think what Celine is trying to say that is that the dub, like, several dubs with Donald and Goofy, like, especially focusing on Donald, do more than just that, oh, ha ha, look at the duck, uh, look at the stupid, uh, flippin' duck with anger management issues. It's worse than that. It's not the, the, the voice for Donald that we typically know. They ham up on the, uh, on the, uh, ha ha, look, look, you can't understand him because he's angry. Like, like, they crank that up to 11 to the point to where it's really, there's, there's no reason why it should be to that extent. Yeah, and like, I contrast it with, um, like, I don't know if I can get away with saying this on your stream, um, but there was a a wartime propaganda film. Oh, I know exactly <gasps> what you're talking about. Oh, I, I know, know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, this is another thing that we might even be able to do like a community night on sometime because it was extremely... I... This one was not as bad as some of the Asia-oriented ones. 
But it was still bad. But it was, it still was bad. bad. Yeah. It was still and pretty bad. Yet, the voice they used for him in there is at least tolerable. The one used for 90s and 2000s animations of Donald so much worse. I almost would have preferred if they would replace the voice with somebody playing on the kazoo. <laughs> It'd be just as intelligible and moderately less grating. Right. <laughs> DBS pointing out that uh, even the subtitles can't understand Donald. Right. <laughs> now, see, that would be creative and something I would kind of want to see. Like the subtitles just yeah. cutting out midway and going a series Drawing of question nice. marks. Thank We're you. not really sure either and we have the script in front of us. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like this is sometimes says angry duck noises. Right. Okay, so I've, I'm working on, noises, like, yeah. three possible backgrounds. Could I get your thoughts, uh, especially Almond, if you're still in Sora the chat? Sora just looking at him all confused. Uh, let me double check. I don't know if Almond's still uh... in the chat. But I got three backgrounds here. Um, so here's, like, the one that I just finished up. What do you think of this one? Yeah, I see Almond's name still in here, but I'm not sure if they're awake. Okay. Hold on, let me full screen it so I can actually... Like, see the detail? Alright. Well, yeah, remember that I usually also have my quality down in order to save on bandwidth, Right. So. Um... Yeah. Okay, it's not bad. Uh, it is, however, very plaid. Yeah. I think I almost preferred it when it was, like, one direction. Uh, giving it more of like a shadow feel oh, or fair. Um, like there was something in the background that's that's a personal thing and i mm. don't know that this is the best of the three backgrounds that you've right. picked anyway well here's the second Flat one is rate slash j that one gives me like the vibes of um this a pop star that's what i'm thinking of oh ah, what star a pop star like a pop idol oh yeah I was gonna say, uh, apple bottom jeans and boots with the fur would be an appropriate backing. Yeah. Track for this <laughs> True. Okay. Plaid is raid. Oh. All right. If you're talking um, about the shadow legends, I can the, go with it. Here's the third. Water. She can be looking idle like. Wait, isn't they Brad supposed Asterisk. to be cat? Yeah, yeah, they are a cat. But I mean, there are some cats that like water. True. They wear, I mean, but true. I'm getting the spaghetti joke vibes from it, but other than that, um, I mean, I would see doing this if you were, like, setting it Cats up as a lineup for a game up. of some sort, mm -hmm. and all the characters just needed some generic backgroundy looking background to use with it. Mm -hmm. Um, this would be a pretty solid one. Um, cats like drinking water, they don't yes, so do much like being thrown into it. And this looks like she's about to go splash. So, yeah. <laughs> I think of the three that you've presented, the second one really gives more of like a, um, I guess the kind of more vibe of that I would vibe. expect. For the okay. memes. Um, one of the other things I would uh, almost wonder about, though, um, like if you put, uh, this sounds silly, but if you put my character next to hers. She almost looks like a dancer to my librarian. Oh. You know, we, we would make a decent fantasy party together, and I almost wonder if something like either a tavern or a forest might not be In serious, uh, better though, choices yes, the for backgrounds background. there. But I don't actually know almonds, and I think mm. she's going to be the best one to talk to about this. Yeah, I, um, I would want to figure so, it out as well, but I think almond might be asleep. <laughs> Probably, but what I would almost yeah. propose for you, Road, is to hold on to these backgrounds, because mm. they are each going to be useful in the future, when you next have to figure this out for someone, and you might even arrange it beforehand Save what sort of background later. and vibe the person is going for. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> so, um... Yes, as, as DBS said, save them for later. Yeah. And ask later as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
yeah, she she yeah. does have kind of that pop idol vibe, and I could see her fitting pretty well in on the dance floor with the. What would happen if you put her in front of the backgrounds that you used for mine? Mm. That is. A good, Do you still a have good that question. background lying around? Um, I have it on my Discord. I could. I'm just going to need a bit to like turn off the capture of my air server so that I can grab it. I mean, I don't mind. Yeah. I, I've distracted your chat for you before. <laughs> and so I... can I Same here, real quick? kinda. Oh, Want me you... to slip into Les Miserables for a few minutes? Uh, Celine, uh, uh, DBS wants to know don't if dox you can yourself, DM. Road. Yeah, I have the oh, thing yeah. off. I have the thing off, DBS. I'm being smart. My DMs are just generally open. If I don't like the way you're talking to me, I'll warn you. If I still don't like the way you're talking to me, I'll block you, and that'll be the end of the story there. I have not had to block many people. Um, okay. So, unless you're being particularly deliberately rude and creepy, uh, it's probably going to be fine. Mm. But, uh, generally speaking, I don't so much mind having people drop into my DMs. <laughs> Well, is thank it because you of your personality? Uh, I'll get you your answer after the stream's over. But, uh, <laughs> what? I'm uh, confused already. Uh, well, uh, DBS sent me a DM. <laughs> and rather than ah. answer directly, I think I'm going to give a DM reply uh, once we're no longer on stream. I understand. So. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, to that extent, it also teases the rest of the crowd. Ooh, what could he be DMing her about? Do, do, what sorts of things do, do, could they be getting into? Oh, well, hi. The DM just says, can I be your friend? <laughs> mm. Alright, here oh. is... The, here, I pulled the background that I made from yours, uh, Celine. I mean, honestly, that like, doesn't is it look like a fat. Kind of gives it like a party girl vibe. Yeah, I might want to ch change the color just to fit a more blue hue, because she has a lot of blues. Uh, she, like, her favorite color is lilac. She's told me her favorite color is lilac, and I want to incorporate that somewhere. As a fan of Periwinkle, I don't blame her. And yes, that is actually the color of my now? avatar's hair is periwinkle. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, What's a periwinkle? Let me design literally the entire rest of my outfit around that. What's a periwinkle? A uh, periwinkle is a flower, or the color of my hair, like the base color of my hair, is specifically. Oh. Uh, and it's actually um, a standard internet color as well. You know what? So, let's uh, give her actually a lighter. Well, why did really? you changing the background color slider trip me out and fucking jump scare me? <laughs> sorry, not sorry. You just. Road. What? Changing the background color slider trip me out and fucking jump scare me? I. What? I I think that's funny. I didn't even notice what happened, so. <laughs> um, if you're watching the stream, uh Road changed up some colors for the background um vignette that is going to be used. And the one he chose is the one we've just been discussing. <laughs> It's only like a super light, like whitish color. It's an, it's an off white, because normally I do like darker vignettes. So I was thinking like, hey, maybe a lighter vignette uh, would be cute if I can get this to the execution that I want it to. Oh, yeah. Like when you really dialed up the Gaussian on that. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It, a it's bit such taller. a bright color relative to the rest that it really, uh, it, it needs to be I very fine. I swear I haven't had any organic inhalants tonight. <laughs> I hope not, dude. 
you wouldn't want to talk about that sort of thing on stream anyway, DDS. Exactly. Mind your audience. And mind my audience too. My, mind TOS. I appreciate <laughs> you, dude. Oh, that really is a nice effect. Again, confused. As far as I'm concerned. Again, though, this isn't my preferences that need to override here. Hmm. <laughs> and also, oh. it's probably best that you stay confused, Bunny. Indeed. Oh. Some knowledge doesn't contribute to your overall well-being and mental health. Yeah. Sometimes I want to figure them out and then make myself go insane because of the knowledge. Mm, no ah, so anything. you're saying you, so you're saying you want to be a Lovecraftian protagonist? I was being careful with hoarding. Stay innocent. Uh, it depends on the Lovecraft. If you're going to be in Lovecraft, always be in Dunwich Horror. At least in that one, people survived. Right. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Which, on that Have you guys subject, heard of Bug Snacks? Bug snacks! Yes! HP said bad words. Yeah, a HP. God, I wasn't. HP was not a great person. It was not. And it's not something I could read on stream here. Yeah, absolutely but... not. Spoopy night. It might be oh. interesting to do some reading of Lovecraft. It would be interesting. Perhaps with yeah. some. So, oh, since it's in the public domain, I can get text versions of the files and do Ooh. some, you know, substitutions to remove some of the racial slurs and other bits of nastiness that Lovecraft was known for. That would be super cool, honestly. Oh, I like the photo outline that you've got going on there. Yeah. Oh, that is neat. And I'm thinking of kind of expanding, like, the, the gradient or the Gaussian a little bit for the frame. Oh, yeah, oh, like, like give it a tall indicators to better understand what emotions yeah. people are trying to because portray. Then also... Please remember to use tone indicators to ensure you are understood. For example, slash G means genuine tone, slash J means joking tone, slash HJ means half joking, slash SRS means serious, slash NM means not mad. Do it. I'd love to hear you read an M. It just got really quiet. <laughs> yeah, Dusk well, is an cause... amazing person. Adorable uh, being. Yeah. TTS cutie was cool. slash G slash SRS. Oh, Thank right. You, yeah, how is that? I added, like, a little bit of, like, shadow underneath the frame so that it helps. The, so that it helps put more focus on, like, the picture, picture frame-esque kind of thing. Well, we've established that I'm rather thoroughly biased on this matter. Mm. I think it looks fantastic. Like, I would be satisfied with that. But, again, I'm not Almond. Right. Yeah, I'll leave this for, for Semicolon Almond. Semicolon tattoos are cool. Yeah, save oh. that one and the idol-looking one. Yeah, yeah. Also, yes, semicolon tattoos are awesome. Uh, but it is actually just about five, so not the just. I I see a five in the time, and I say five even though it's close to four. My brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's you fine. know you're tired. Am I? And it doesn't I'm help that the sun is not coming up soon. And show M later. Mm. I will say, and it doesn't help that you have a big stream in like eight minute, eight hours. Right. Oh man, I am so intimidated. <laughs> Wait, eight hours? Well, well no, it's going to be I'm Friday. Starting. It's going to be Friday at noon, also, not Thursday at noon. Also, I am not biased on semicolon tattoos. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, closer to 32 hours. Right. Today oh, is yes. Thursday. <laughs> All right, um... All right, so I need. think... I don't see that many people that are online right now, but I think I have an idea on who we are going to raid. So, um... Oh. Oh, or, okay. did you have any recommendations? Well, I was going to pull up my, uh... list here and see if I've got Space anyone mod. online myself. But, uh... Because uh, I'm in mod mode, I can't actually see who I've got for online, uh, people that I follow. Ah. Uh, 
Earth dead. So, hold on just a second. Okay. If you've got someone in mind, I mean, it's your stream. Yeah. I mean, I'm yourself. thinking of wanting to raid out um, so I, someone that um, I've joined raids in on from Ocean Sister. Lance Nauticola. Um So, this person is uh, Mielita. Um, They're currently playing Five Guys right now, and they have a very chill aesthetic. So I think, considering the chill vibes that's been going on with this, Fire that we can continue uh, with the chill vibes with <laughs> with Mielita. We are never chill in here. <laughs> that's chill oh, enough. Yes. And I am We've the been sky. so terribly uh, brutal and scathing in our assessment of each other and the way that we're treating all things. Mm. Now, clearly, this is uh, not the chill vibes that we've been going for. <laughs> no, I, I think if uh, you've got someone in mind, you go for it. So okay. I've got my own ideas, but I can report those on another night when you're less certain. Yeah, I... Cheeseburger. DBS. <laughs> I will turn... Shall we give a shout out to your Discord and that here before we... Yeah, that would be a good idea. Especially since uh, I have been having polls going on lately on the discord server like asking what people want to see uh for especially coming up for the month of spoops um there are some games that i want to play but coming up in november i do want to see in here people thoughts on what they want to see after because i have some ideas behind the scenes for stuff for october as a spoopy month but at, while i have stuff that i like to do I also want to be sure that I am giving, uh, giving content that you guys will enjoy as well. So. Jojo's is best anime family than the Han Maz. Um, and on that subject, yeah. you want me to also uh, shout out some of the people you've had on here tonight. Yes, I would much appreciate that. So for those that have hopped on, I think the only ones that have hopped on that are streamers are Monkey Mallow and Asterisks. But for okay. those that well, have not seen their content, um, please be sure to check the two of them out. Monkey Mallow is a pretty new uh, baby streamer who has been just speed running and mad ladding through collabs and all that jazz, and we love her for it. Um, and we have Lexi, who is our just our wholesome degenerate emphasis on the hoe, her words, who loves to like play like VR. Fortnite and quite a few other games um, and they're just all around great company and I would highly recommend that you check them out when you all got the chance and all also right. be and sure then... to give my mod over here some love she may not be I wouldn't be surprised if monkey blew up and got mainstream fame sometimes I may not be what yeah, that was sorry TTS was going off in the middle of me trying to say a thing. Celine oh, might not be... No, hold on. Celine might not be streaming quite yet, but I do think that she deserves some love, so go give her some love. Okay. Look, by the I time you have I'm by the bad. time you have your first stream, you'll already have 50 followers and you'll be part way to affiliate. <laughs> Assuming I want to do any of this with Twitch. She's a bean. <laughs> Fair. Uh, well, thank you all. I appreciate the support, one direction or another. Mm. Um, and yeah, make sure to drop into the Discord. I'm not the most attentive, but you're always welcome to at me, and I will follow up when I've got a spare moment. Heck yeah. So let's get the raid uh, going. Well, yeah, she's still going. Okay. So let's get the raid going. All my streaming homies are goats. And then here the road is to dusk has led the raiders to you. The raid message. Hello. And stream screen. Yep, let's get that going. So I want to thank Make everyone. Sure to drop a follow for Selene. I want to thank everyone again for hopping in and sticking around. Um, everyone have a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is in your time zone. As we say goodbye and enjoy the rest of your time. Oh, wonderful night. Bye bye. Thanks.